Hello, I'm John, the executive producer here at Final Show Films. I got a few notes for you before the show. First, I want to thank you all for watching. We couldn't do what we do or the amount of things that we do without the support of you, the viewer. If you want to support us financially, which we always appreciate, you can go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms, where you can donate as little as a dollar a month to help us continue this and all the things that we do. I want to give a special shout out to our $25 supporters, Antitonic, Cat Water Flame, and Samantha Bates. Uh, second, I want to let you all know that we here at Final Show Films are planning a little get-together up at Gen Con this year. That's August 2nd through 5th up at Indianapolis. We're going to be up there just sort of hanging out, enjoying the con, spending time together. And if any of you guys want to come up and say hi, please feel free. We don't bite unless you want us to. And if you enjoy whatever it is you're about to watch or listen to, be sure to check out our website at finalshowfilms.com where you can find links to all of our other content, both podcast and video. And be sure to follow me at John A. Bates on Twitter for more updates on all of the content we're creating in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Grand Terror Rebirth. I'm John, the Game Master for the evening, and with me today is William. Hi, William, and I'm playing Baldrin Ironhand, Swarven Cleric and of the Forge. And Jeremy. Hello, I'm Jeremy. I'm playing Selena, the Fire Genasi Chaos Sorcerer Angry Person. And Mara. Hi, I'm Mara. I'm playing Hope Azamar, Rogue Barbarian. And Aaron. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm playing, at least until I die, Agdrasol, the Elven Ranger. And Cody. Um, Cody, I'm playing Corbin, the Human Battlemaster. And Jack. Hey, everybody, I'm Jack, and I am playing Stophilus, the Minotaur Drunken Master. And Monk. returning, Ooh. finally, with a different character, Sarah. <laughs> I'm Sarah, and you'll meet me in a bit. <laughs> uh, I can already also already see the name, but anyways, uh, when last we when last we left our adventurers. Fine, I'm Yarrow, and you'll meet me in a bit. <laughs> when last we left our adventurers. There are no secrets here anymore. <laughs> yeah. When last we left our adventurers, um, they had encountered. Uh, they began the uh, the fight encountering. Um, Galore, the uh, Medusa that was in charge of one section of the Shifting Sands. Um, and uh, by the end of it, they had managed to, they were uh, dealing with Valda, another individual who was dealing with the Shifting Sands. Um, and we ended the game on a fight because I had more descriptive stuff to say, but it went out of my head because apparently we're still having some sort of audiovisual disconnect, and now my brain is going low. Well, I need to fix that, but I can't fix that while I'm in the middle of an intro, so I might as well digress into that problem. Anyways, um, we last left off with... Uh, it was Nautilus's turn, but at the end of Selena's turn, who had just gone uh, emulating, uh, uh, emulating uh, Valda... Um, Valda's going to use a legendary action uh, to begin casting a spell. Selena, I need you, if you want to counter spell, I need you to make a perception check. I, I will give it a shot. I mean, give it the shot. Uh, um, uh, perception, perception, perception. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, 16. 16, unfortunately, is not quite good enough. Um, Are you kidding? It's the same DC. He had to roll to meet yours, and he missed it, too. Ah. <laughs> uh. I rolled a 17. It's not quite good <laughs> enough. Uh, you, you you definitely can tell that something is happening, but you can't tell exactly what. You don't have a good enough line of sight to counter it. Selena just yells, Doc! And I need... Sort of probably won't and uh, I need everyone... Yeah, everyone, because you're all close enough, to roll an intelligence saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Ducking, don't this. help this. Come on. Come on. I'm giving myself advantage on this. I am also giving myself advantage right. on this. 
I am going to use Indomitable right. because chance, I have that. Does the fact I'm not in contact with the ground nope, matter? Wait, hang on a we are getting synaptic stats. <laughs> yeah, so there's one or two spells where you it wish. matters. Hang on one second. I actually oh, have to check sorry. This. I don't have advantage, but 10. Well, I'm fairly sure I made that one, so this is good. <laughs> Go, Hope. Everyone else thing. actually is terrible. I'm poisoned or exhausted. You are exhausted or... currently. I don't, does that ex affect saving throws or just ability it checks? Does exhaustion does no, not. Exhaustion Not until the second level of exhaustion. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I don't have indomitable. I couldn't yet. remember which it was because I knew I drink, drunk off one and got the other, but. All right. Um, uh, so I think everybody's, uh, let me roll for Nautilus real quick. Just in case. And Adolfo. And Adolfo. Ooh, Nautilus made it. Adolfo did not. <clears throat> well, mm -hmm, good turn um, So, uh, those of you that are in the room, see Valda raise his left hand, bring it down, and just snap a finger. And as he does, all of you hear your mind just fill with the agonized screams of a thousand tortured souls. Everyone except for Hope takes 52 points of psychic damage. Ah, psychic green. And are stunned. 52? Do I you take, take half, half of that and are not stunned. Or... So that'll be 26. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's terrible. All right. Hope, kill this motherfucker! I'm... I have to get up first. He's too far away. Adolfo, those of you that... So, those of you behind you look back and see Adolfo just sort of, like, bleeding from the ears and holding his head. He has two hit points left. <laughs> uh, I don't think we do look back because no, that's we fair. Are, we're that's stunned. 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 That are stunned. Yeah. You are behind me. Kind of roughly uh, here. Okay. You are fortunately nobody died to that. I don't think so. Nobody's head exploded. Um, so yeah, you are you are uh, you no, are I... so a stunned target can make an intelligence saving throw at the end of each of its turns. On a successful save, the stunning effect ends. Well, your cleric's out. Sorry, no healing. Ah, oh, it happens. Hey, if I. I also have an intelligence of zero, so I might make the save um, at some point, <laughs> and I can heal. I mean, I got a plus three, so right. maybe. Uh, so but can you that hap So yeah, Valda just sort of raises a hand and snaps the finger, and this explosion of sound in your mind happens, and he sort of raises an eyebrow at, at uh, Hope, who is still standing, and then looks over at Nautilus. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems you have picked at least one of your patsies that is capable. Nautilus's turn. Oh, all of us are capable. She's going to close the dick. Nautilus's turn. Uh, he runs up and flanks with Staffless, because even though Staffless is stunned, he still counts as flanking. And hits. Dealing an amount of damage. So you see Nautilus sort of take this advantage to dash up. Uh, still holding his blade in that reverse grip, dashes around and past Staphylus, coming up behind and just slicing uh, up the back of Volda, who, again, just sort of takes the blow without flinching, blood pouring down his back, and then just as quickly as it began pouring, stopping. Uh, Baldrin, make an intelligence saving throw. You're still stunned. Hey, still stunned. Uh, hope. Okay. Um, so I get up. Uh, half my movement. Um, I'm so I can go twenty feet. <clears throat> I'm gonna go here. Just Actually, I'm gonna go yeah there. Um, and uh. Bonus action rage. All right, get that rage going again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, 
Let's see. And uh, action for insightful fighting. I'm going to I'm going to eyeball okay. them and see what I can figure well, out. How does insightful um, fighting work again? Because I've never remembered. Scene. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Action or bonus there action to make a wisdom insight check against a visible target creature that is not incapacitated opposed by targets charisma deception. If successful, can you sneak attack even with no advantage or no other enemy last one minute or until insight? Okay. So go ahead and make a wisdom insight check. Yep. All right. Cracker, even at disadvantage, you can still use sneak attack. Yeah. <laughs> Which is Good. important. Yep. You cannot read him. Okay. <sighs> All right. And, and, that's and it's, my turn, and then. It's this sort of, again, it's this, this implacable lack of care for anything going on around him. Hmm. All right, then, All yeah, right. that was that was my bonus action in action. Adolfo's so. turn. But there are blue lights up Adolfo now. Adolfo is still stunned. Um, Staphylus. Oh, sorry, it would have been uh, a 22. 22 is just enough. So them. you, at the end, no, you, <clears throat> spending this round dazed, you just sort of, right at the end of it, you just managed to mm, shake yourself free of this echo and cool. force those voices out of your head. All right. Well, I hope you two like fighting something because nobody else is making Corp. this save. <laughs> we'll do it again. can break his concentration. Uh, or, no, that's not, that's like extreme not a concentration oh, Corbin, spell. you're still ah, broken. Okay. I don't know. Yep, I need a, a 20 to get a 21. Uh, so. Valda looks around well. As exciting as this was, he reaches out and sort of stabs his sword into the middle of the into the middle of thin air, and slices down. And Agrasol, even in your stunned state, the internal mm -hmm. your internal oh, there's a portal to another realm, just starts blaring as he rips a hole in the fabric of reality with his sword. Hmm, kitten. So Not this is a great. weird question. Ah, I can do nothing. But but I have so uh, I have spirit sp mm -hmm. shield now, um, which I can use a reaction to uh, reduce the damage that someone else okay. takes. Could I use that because he's stabbing? You cannot reduce. You cannot reduce the damage reality portal. takes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! All right, I tried. I, I like that thought process, but you cannot reduce the damage <laughs> reality takes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think somebody should tweet Mike Morales. Um, <laughs> he just opens this, just slices open a hole in space and time. Uh, gracefully spins this katana that he has over his wrist and sheathes it. And steps through. Is this considered a teleport, or do we get opportunity you get attacks you, against you him? You get an opportunity mm -hmm. attack against him. Both you and Nautilus do. Okay. As he, as he, as he, he, and he remarks as he steps through. Don't worry. I am sure you will find my friends more to your liking. <laughs> Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. <laughs> Nautilus misses. He takes 14 bludgeoning damage and has to make a DC 16 constitution save or be stunned. Hmm. Yes. And therefore yes. not able uh, to move. <laughs> somehow I suspect he's going to he make rolled, this save. He, he rolled a 15 on the die and his con save is plus 5. Okay. Yep. No worries. Gave him yeah. something to so, think about. <laughs> as he just walks into this portal and <laughs> it closes behind him. Uh, actually, it doesn't close behind him. It's open for it's open for a minute because things are happening. Uh, Agrisol, it's your turn. This portal in the middle of the air between Nautilus and Staphylus is currently open. Is it enough of a panic situation to give me advantage? No, nope. we could try. <laughs> cool. I can't make this safe, so I'm just gonna keep rolling it anyways. Natural twenty uh, is always make safes. A four does not, however. 
Okay, let me rephrase. I have a 1 in 20 chance of making this save. <laughs> Uh, Selena. Yeah, intelligence. When I'm stunned, can I not communicate at uh, all? You're stunned. Or... You can take no actions. Uh, uh, talking is sort of a free action, so you can still it's talk. It's an incidental. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say you can still talk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Portal. Portal. Definitely a portal. <laughs> to where? Can't focus enough to tell that right now. <laughs> Another plane. A stunned like creature crazy. is incapacitated, can't move, and can speak only falteringly. So you yes. can still speak, yes. Okay, add more stutters in <laughs> I there. Think, I think <laughs> portal, we'll portal, do. that's a portal is falteringly enough. <laughs> yeah, that that works. I'd say that. Yeah, that sounds that's good. That's more coherent than what's coming out of Corbin. <laughs> it's just a lot of fucks and shits. Selena <laughs> is still stunned. Uh, Nautilus... Dives through the portal after Volda. Not surprised. Mm -hmm. This is what a revenant does. Baldrin. I right. fail. Uh, hope. Ooh. <laughs> portal is open currently. It is. Can I see through it? You can, or is you can, it like it's a hazy? bit hazy, but you can see through it. Give me a perception check with advantage because you're standing right there. Okay. Yep. No. Uh, don't, 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 don't. You, do see a, you see a trio of figures approaching the portal. They are not Valda or Nautilus. Okay. Uh huh. I can't see either of them. Um, I I was more actually concerned about like the um surrounding. Like, does it look like it's is he in another part of this sandstone no, castle? No, he's in. Or... It looks like it connects to some place that has an active volcano in the background. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I'm not. <laughs> Everyone else. Most other people are stunned, and there's someone coming toward us. I was staying. Uh, no, I'm going to go through the portal to meet them. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. So Hope rushes forward. So I don't... Uh, yep. Yeah, you can, get, plan. you can get through the portal. Uh-huh. Um, so, and I am going to make... Wait, that means just because you may want to immediately step back. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. As you step through the portal, you're going to... Yep. You see approaching you... Three humanoid figures with sort of yep. grins on their faces. One of them has sort of a, band, a bloody bandage wrapped around their head and animate chains hanging off of it, lashing about almost like snakes. Um, the chains mm -hmm. are connected. Uh, they have like sort of various blades and things on them. The chains, though, are connected to a, uh, uh, a pair of winged... Uh, entities that are also equally chained. Their arms and thing, their arms and wings are wrapped up, um, and they are definitely approaching with the intent to move through that portal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's that's the mm -hmm. three figures. Um, all right. Um, so I don't know how much movement I have. How far away are they from me as I'm going uh, through this like portal? It, like uh, how much? Can I get up you to them? You can get up to them. It looks like they're going to be going through the portal the next on their turn, basically. Yep, but I want to make a, a, yeah. I want to attack them yeah, before they that. get through. Um, uh, would that take my full movement to get no. to them? They're 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 almost at okay. the portal, so it wouldn't even take okay yeah, basically Sweet. enough movement to get to right. the portal. Okay, then I am going to make uh, my two attacks at which on one? them. Um, mm, one on the side. I, I want to basically. I'm trying to not be in the range of the other two. So I wanna, they are, like, they are sort on the of walking in unison towards the portal. Okay. Two. The two on the left and right are bound by the chains emanating off the one in the middle. Got it. Um, do they look like they'd be able to do harm, or are they like? Um, Give me a nature so it... roll. Okay. Eleven. Yes, they they look both hostile and like the chains aren't really there for them. 
Okay. All right. Um, yep, I'm going to attack one okay. on the side then. Um, let's go for the right. right one. Don't give me a attack roll. Uh, all right. Do, do, do. Ah, natural one. Yes. Oh, wait. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't have So you just sort of it. swing out with this yep. scimitar, okay. and it ching, ching off of the chains that are whirling around the, the, the three entities. All right. Second mm -hmm. attack. Ten. Also, God, ting ting bounces off the chains that are whirling around, forming this defensive barrier around the three of them. All right, bonus action, disengage and so, back up. Someone's coming. Hope reappears through the portal. Um. All right, that's my turn. Adolfo <clears throat> makes a roll. Ooh, natural twenty. Adolfo saves. Uh, Adolfo sort of shakes himself and looks at the group. Oh, this seems to be a bad uh, situation we find ourselves in. Um, <clears throat> and seeing what he can do to help. Does he have, like, inspiration or something that boosts yes, saves? Uh, yes. Uh, he's I also going to cast a mass healing word. Um... He needs to have line of sight to everyone he yeah. uses it on. Oh, wait, no. He saved this turn, so actually his turn is done. Um, oh. He's going to do that yep. next yeah. turn. <laughs> um, so, Hope, uh, Hope, as you back up, these three entities merge through the portal, which seals behind them. And as it seals behind them, all of you that were stunned find your heads cleared. It seems that with the portal gone and the source of the psychic screaming in your head gone, it has sort of faded away and you are now once again in control of yourselves uh, on your uh, and your actions. Nautilus and Valda are gone, okay. but in their place, you see these three entities. Um, again, they're... I don't see well, that's shit. they're not on the lair yet. <laughs> No, it's because I'm because we're not in a narrow that's situation fair. That's where fair. I can see much of shit. Um, also, there are a big set of wings in front of me. <laughs> they're above you. No, they're the above, above you. you. Um, Hope, Hope was the one in your visual uh, range. No, I was on the floor. <laughs> Corbin was the one in your visual range. Uh, these three figures that have stepped out are, again, they are the this uh, pair of what look... Almost like they may have at one point been angels, save for their halo has now been drenched black and emits this dark glow. Their wings look like they've been dipped in ink, and their bodies are wrapped in this sort of razor chain, the flesh underneath the chain having been scarred and mauled and ripped off by the chains that hold them. As the th And then the one in the middle, again, is this humanoid figure... Uh, with red skin and a face wrap covering their head and sort of emanating off of their head and legs are these lengths of chains, each of which ends in a vicious-looking meat hook, uh, several of which are hooked currently into the two angel-looking things on either side of it. As they step into the room, the chains fall down and the angels sort of pull their arms apart, uh, showing that they are actually freed to act as the two angels on either side reach out into the air and draw from seemingly nothingness these massive flaming great swords. I uh, just pull out and put them at the ready. That is their turn. Uh, Staphylus. Um, <clears throat> confronted by these entities, can I make like a religion check or anything to see if I you know anything them. about them? Okay. Let's see if he's feeling intelligent today, despite having most of his brain cells screamed out of his head. <clears throat> 20. Uh, yes, so you actually recognize all three of these. The two on either side are chained angels. Um, uh -huh. They are, uh, these were angels that have been captured, tortured, and turned into slaves uh, in service to fiends. Um they basically they 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 were angels at one point in time, but have been corrupted uh, by uh, by fiends and devils in uh, devils and demons uh, in order to serve them. Um, having a pack of chained angels is considered a status symbol amongst servants of evil. 
uh, and they are sure. quite vicious uh, enemies. Um, the one in the middle is a, is a chain devil, uh, which is sort of a right. higher ranking uh, uh, devil uh, from the, 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 the Nine Hells. Um uh, it's sort of a it's it, it's a slave driver. It's a slave master. It's it's it, it makes very much sense that one of these might have chained angels. In fact, it very well might it is very well is likely to have been the one to break these particular angels. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well then. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We are going to step here. Going to make one weapon strike against the angel okay. first. Is it 12 hit? 12, as soon as I get my uh, myself on the correct layer, uh, does not hit. You whip out, and again, okay. the, 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 the sort of scarred flesh of these angels does not give away. Um, a 16, however, does hit. Awesome. Um, in that case, uh, we're going to deal damage. We are going to, for 14 magical bludgeoning, we're going to spend another key point. He has to make a DC 16 constitution save or be stunned. Uh, roll to five. He is stunned. Okay. We are going to flurry of blows the chain okay. devil. 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits the chain devil, yes. So 12 damage there. Does a 13 13 does hit. not. Okay, and since I'm under the effects of a disengage now, um, I am going to retreat 40 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boop. All right. <clears throat> so that, ch uh, that one angel is stunned until the end of my next turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up would be the Chain Devil, uh, who looks down at Hope, uh, being the one closest. Yep! Thanks for leaving, Staff. That's okay. Us. You're the one that can take most of it. <laughs> I have 13 <laughs> hit true. points. This Don't talk true. to me, Your Grouchy Go. Your is real, is real low. Um, uh, yeah, so these, uh, these chains that are around it just lash out as if they were living entities of its own. Whoosh, whoosh, lashing towards you. Uh, does a 20 and a 12 hit? Uh, 20 hits, All 12 right. misses. I'm going to use an uncanny dodge okay. on that. So yeah, the one. One, one chain lashes out and slices across you. You actually lean into the blow and use the weight of it to knock yourself out of the path of the second one. Um, as it hits the uh the tar the as it hits the chain whoosh, wraps around you uh cinching in mm -hmm. tight and you feel the uh you feel sort of uh the pain as it does seven slashing and six piercing damage to you um which is reduced okay. which wow. are reduced to um cuz you're raging 3, three and three, 3 right? yeah 3 and um yep as this chain just whoosh, wraps around you very similar to how it was wrapped around the chained angels previously <clears throat> grappled? Yeah, grappled, yes. Okay. Um, you are currently restrained as well. Grappled okay. and restrained. Um, um, all right. Uh, and that makes it Corbin's turn. All right. Now that I have my faculties about me, uh, let's see. Yeah. I'll go up to here <clears throat> and attack this guy. Uh, I'm going to rage again because the last one ended while I was okay. in the middle of the room. Uh, so Twenty-eight. Uh, so both of, uh, and I'm uh, making it a sweeping hits, strike. Yes. So, uh, would the 28 hit the chain uh, yes, devil, too? Yes, it would also hit the chain devil. Alright, then he takes 8 points of damage. Nice. And the fallen angel dude takes 11 points. And then I'm going to attack again. 
All right. And 18 hits. Uh, or 26, 26 hits as well. Yep. Uh, uh, and I'm going to make it uh, a trip attack on the angel. Okay. So it's going to make a strength saving throw. 16. Uh, roll to 21. Awesome. You run up behind uh, and uh, just whipping this spear around, catching the chain devil with the first hit and stabbing it in the leg with the second one. All right, that's it. That's all I can do. Uh, all right. Uh, top of the round, Agdrasol. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay. I need to stay where I can. Um. How low is Selena and Baldrin? I I asked in chat, but I didn't get answer. For yes, you Baldrin. did. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. You got one for me. You just, yeah. Yeah, I, I just answered in chat. Okay. Um, so, so Selena's at 30 uh, and Baldwin's at 43. Yeah, and Baldwin has slightly more top hit points. But, okay. Cure Wounds level 1 for Selena. Um, it's not a ton, but it should. There's a slight chance that you don't die before Baldwin can heal you. Um, nine, and then I'm putting a healing spirit <clears throat> down. Um, all right. In five foot cube. Um, I thought it was a five foot circle. Okay. Um, five foot cube roughly where I am so that everyone who's running into the room will run okay. through it, but on ground level, um, which doesn't take effect immediately. It just takes effect on people's... As they pass through it. Um, what does it look like? Uh, so... It... Probably a sort of like a dove's. Um, okay. So, so Ag cool. so Agdrasol sort of floats down, touches uh, Selena, healing Selena for a bit, and then uh, flying back up, puts this uh, ethereal, ephemeral vision of a dove sort of floating in place uh, right below him so that yep. anybody that passes through it will heal. I strongly recommend actually walking through that square instead of teleporting past it if it's an option for you, because um, that's how you heal. And so, <clears throat> yeah. I'm then going to move just where I can still see the square, but I'm slightly okay. inside the room, and All that's right. my turn. Uh, that makes it Selena. <clears throat> Boop. 1d6 healing. Yep. Okay. Nice. Not bad. nice. You That's step through the dove and feel this uh, rejuvenation flow through you. Let's see, that was 5, 10, 15, 20. <clears throat> what the actual fuck? You can give me a religion check if you want. You don't know. <laughs> Thus, <laughs> yep. they all look angry. Yeah. You will fuck. Bad portal, bad. Are they in our way? Uh, the port. Don't Ow! die. Yes. Ow! Okay. Ow! The the portal's gone. So. <laughs> yes. Agrisol is tired and panicking. <laughs> They came through the portal would have been the full sentence. Um, <laughs> then <laughs> let's smack that little bitch with the chains with, the, let's say, a level three. Or, uh, no, we'll go level four chaos. Okay. Bolt. <clears throat> um, 
with a nothing. Hey, ten misses. Ouch. Uh, however, uh, roll me a d20 okay. as well. Oh, that's right. Caraspell does that. I really spell. just need to put a a macro so I don't have to keep typing. <laughs> Could you like essentially give yourself an attack roll without a modifier to do that? Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I could. Can. You can also just make a macro that's just slash roll one d twenty. Yeah. No. Uh, wild uh, magic yeah. surge. Right, so nothing happens. You also miss. Uh, what do I have that has a zero? Yes. Uh, oh, and I guess I go five more you feet. Can, um, you can just go. Yeah, to you the can dash change the modifier to the to the dash, and that's nothing. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I will uh, take off proficiency. Take off everything else. Let's make sure this works. That didn't work. Anyways, um, I will... Uh, <clears throat> just because I'm annoyed that didn't work, I'm going to spend some sorcery points for Quickened Spell. Because right. I still have a bonus action. And let's try for a level 2 Chaos Bolt, since... Oh, I see what I did wrong. There we go. Um, and 18? 18 minutes. All right. And still nothing. So, uh, level two. So that is 12. And my choices are four or three. Um... <coughs> Well, I feel like I feel like I'm gonna go force and not fire. Force force is probably, probably a good, good idea. idea. Yeah. So twelve All force right. damage. Uh this this ball of uh of translucent energy just erupts from Selena's hand and <laughs> crashes into the chain devil. And she shouts, Hey assholes, we've got something to go. Fuck off where you came from. Yeah, yeah. Baldrin. You too. Uh, so Baldrin, after sort of like shaking himself awake, <clears throat> looks over his shoulder. Don't die on us yet, Bloodseeker. And he just kind of puts his hand on uh, Adolfo and casts heal. He's just plus 70. Or how much is it? Straight 70 hit points. Yeah, that, that, nice. that, that fills him up. I take five feet here, roll a d6. Heal myself for three. <clears throat> uh, 10, 15, 20. Uh, Starfless, you look like you're in some trouble. Uh, I have felt better, Captain. <clears throat> well, hold on to this for right now, and I'll cast a just a regular first level healing word right okay. now. Or five. Cool. Uh, that makes it Hope's turn. All right. Um, so I'm grappled right now. You can uh, break free with a, uh, yep. a strength athlete, with an athletics or acrobatics check. Yeah, but that takes an action. Um, restrained. Uh, I am restrained. Uh, does restraint mean I can't? No, I can you still have attack. Disadvantage on attacks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Um, so just, just like battle rager flail inside the chains. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Quick, quick question on uh, if I do a reckless attack, um, because that gives me advantage. Does that yeah. cancel out? Then would I get? You would sneak get a attack? flat roll. You okay. wouldn't. I mean, you get sneak attack regardless, because Corbin's there. If it's against the, the angel, because Corbin's there. Yep. Uh, also, yep. you don't need okay. like if you're attacking the angel. Um, if you're attacking the angel, because you're you're right uh, next yeah, to him. If you, if you have dis if you have disadvantage, you can't get sneak attack unless you're using the insightful yeah, fighting thing. But yeah, that, that was so. My... So the so Corbin is flanking that one angel from you, providing you advantage, mm -hmm. which counteracts yep. your disadvantage in the first place. There, 
Um, if okay. you if you All use right. your if you use your which and also giving you a sneak attack because Corbin's there. If you use your reckless attack, yep. you can counteract the disadvantage against the chain devil. Okay, and would that give no, me sneak it attack? No, wouldn't give me sneak then. attack in that case. Okay. All right. I am going to uh, insight uh, the devil right. then. That is an ac- that's a bonus action. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Uh, the devil's easier so... to insight than Valda was. Yep. Twenty three. Uh, yeah. No, you beat him. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Uh, and I'm going to make my two attacks uh, against them. So, um, and that gives, I still have, um, and I'm going to make it reckless, so I don't have disadvantage. Okay. <clears throat> so just two flat rolls, just flat, flat rolls against the yep. devil. Finally, 27 and Those 27. Okay, sweet. All right, so there's going to be a lot of numbers. Uh, why is that zero? I don't know why. Um, it should be two. Uh, so seven slashing into rage. Um, and then for the second one, uh, six slashing to rage. I'll fix that. Um, and sneak attack against the one is 10. And there are the blue things around him. So if he tries to hit anyone else, he has disadvantage. All right. 27 damage. Good. Doing good. Good. Yep. Very nice. Uh, Adolfo steps up uh, through the bars, um, pulls out his uh, loot, and begins to play a mel. Uh, he gets 1d6. He, he, he would if, he, if, if Boldrin's heal hadn't completely filled him up. Um, okay. Uh, begins to play the loot, uh, and you all get back. Good. I was hoping he uh, had mass. Cure. Mass, he has mass, he- mass healing work. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, mass cure is really yeah. high level. Uh, um, you all get back. F- Sorry, I'm trying to do math in my head and it's not working. Um, four plus four plus five. I'm... Seventeen. Eight. No. <laughs> no, sorry. no. Thirteen. Thirteen. You you you, you all get back thirteen. Yeah. It's called the calculator. Uh, you all get back 13 uh, hit points, um, and Hope gets uh, a Bardic Inspiration. Sweet! 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. Alright. Plus... plus 7. <laughs> plus 1. How about you watch mathematics? Plus what is 1 and 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 1? Mathematics We're referencing making sure we don't need that <laughs> by inventing better notations. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you all get 13 hit points back, and uh, Hope has a Bardic Inspiration um, from Adolfo, which at his level is a D8, I think. Is a D75. All right, uh, and yet. that makes it the Angel's turn. I mean, he is an NPC. He, he is a low-level NPC. Um, one of the Angels floats up... Uh, He's oh, stunned. yeah, he is stunned. That's right. He can't do anything. Yep. Uh, oh, also, yep. Bulger, He's because you stepped in the room and saw the angels, make me a religion check. Oh, yeah. This is a thing. Uh, <laughs> religion. 20. Uh, so you know you know basically what Stavlis knows. Yes, I know about fallen angels, chained angels, and what? chained devils. I don't know, actually. I'm I mean, you could make a religion check. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, we can see. I didn't pay attention very close. Yeah, ten. <laughs> uh, there are things with chains and wings. So the other and they one all that is angry. currently surrounded by two people uh, will use its. Um, it sort of rises up. Uh, the chains around it biting into its flesh. And and just sort of releases this unholy cry, and all creatures within fifty feet of it, in line of sight. Uh, it's everyone. everyone. Uh, I'm behind it. It cast psychics. <laughs> make a make oh, make yeah. me a strength saving throw. Oh oh good. Does it matter? I have that it does not matter. Ground. You're not on the ground. So, twelve. There are a few, not many, but a few spells 16. where that does matter. Joking about being behind it, but do I yes, have to do. make the save? 
or am I? Okay. I don't know if I was in line of sight. Actually, the other the other angel and the chain devil also have to make a save because it does not discriminate. Wow. <laughs> I got twenty five. They both made it though. Turns out, as a fighter, I'm pretty decent at strength sure. saves. All right, so everyone that <laughs> rolled uh, fifteen or above takes half damage. Uh, so everyone that rolled 15 or above takes six points of radiant damage and are, uh, takes six points of radiant damage. Um, everyone that rolled mm -hmm. below 15 takes 13 points of radiant damage and are knocked prone. Okay. Um, um, oh, look, that's exactly that's the amount we were healed a um, second ago. I'm 10 feet in the air. Do I take any other? <laughs> Probably not. You do, uh, right? I'm going to use uh, Agrisol's just within range. Let's see. Oh. Or how how hurt? I can't actually see your health oh, bar, Agrisol. Oh, yeah, I'm how not that bad. Take... Not that bad? I'm okay. Better you take than four points people. of damage as you hit the ground. You only take a d6 for, for yeah. falling okay. 10 feet. But... All right. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I think Staphylus looks the most hurt. Um, I'm gonna use uh da, 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 ancestral protectors or spirit shield. Blech, sorry. Which does what? What that do? Hmm. It does a thing. There. Yeah, sixth level. The guardian spirits that aid you can provide damage. special protection to those you are defending. If you are raging, another creature you can see within thirty feet of you takes damage. Uh, da, 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 da. yep. 2d6. It doesn't say anything about attack. You can use your, so you can can use your reaction to reduce that damage by 2d6. So roll mm -hmm. 2d6. Yep. Uh, 3d6, actually. Oh, yeah, sorry, 3d6. Yes, roll another d6. Uh, that's your, that's uh, your barbarian uh, level. No, oh, barbarian, barbarian level. level. Okay. Uh, so yep. mm -hmm. so right. you take so 7 less damage. Oh, I don't take shit. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So uh, as as this unholy scream erupts out from this fallen angel, from this chained angel, uh, one of the blue spirits that have begun to manifest around hope just sort of lunges uh, over towards Staphylus and places its wet, places itself between Staphylus and the scream and just sort of reverberates with the force of the of the of the cry, protecting Staphylus. Uh, that makes cool. it Staphylus' turn. All right. So we are going to use 35 feet of our movement to go to here. We are going to make two weapon attacks against the Stunned Angel. Right. Well, at least one against the Stunned Angel. We'll see what happens. 27 hits. hits. Nine bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, um and yeah we're gonna we're gonna make advantage one advantage on these attacks because it's do stunned. I? yep oh yeah i do let me make that again okay yeah so 27 yeah. hits um and then a second one that also 22 misses. hits okay for another seven damage <laughs> uh again with the constitution save um dc 16 hmm Keep this motherfucker. This time it rolled a twenty. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Flurry of blows. Right. Oops. Not an advantage anymore. All right. It's still stunned because yeah, it's not the end of my next turn. So, so yep. Uh, so flurry of blows for eight, and flurry of blows for oh that one was close for ten. I use flurry of blows, so I'm under the disengage <laughs> status. One. Let's see. Thirty-five. Forty. 45, 50. So that will pop me back to here. Right. And, and I am and out of no the longer range stunned yet. at this point. So yeah. Staphylus runs up, beats the shit out of this thing, and seemingly trips and just rolls low and backwards and then springs back to his feet again in the middle of the carpet. <laughs> nice. Uh, chain Devil's turn. And then takes yeah. a swig. Chain Devil's mm -hmm. turn. Uh, the Chain Devil uh, is going to... Oh, um... Uh, it's our, it's our, okay, so at the beginning of its turn, uh, at the beginning of its turn, Hope takes uh, eight points of piercing damage as the chains around you tighten. Okay. Um, and it's just gonna and it's what just gonna use word? those. Uh, it's just gonna have to. Five. It's just gonna yes, have to have to have to four. Four. 
Yeah. Eight damage. Four. So I have to. Okay. Um, and it's just going to use its chains to beat you. Because it's got you and it's got mm -hmm. advantage on you because you're reckless stacked. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, so a 15 and a 26. Uh, the 15, hey, the 15 misses. misses. The 26 hits. Uh, you take uh, seven points of slashing and five points of piercing, reduced by half to three and two. So you take five points of damage total yeah. as the chains just All continue right. to sort of lashing out against you as you're sort of tied there, help mostly helpless. Uh, that makes it Corbin's turn. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to smack this guy once with the spear. So, there's that. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So, ba blam 21 points on that hit. And then... I'm just going to sidestep over to here. That guy will get an attack, get attack opportunity. That's fine. As the flaming greatsword that it has <laughs> lashes out, hitting you, for hitting you with a 26. Yep. Uh, you take 9 points of slashing damage and 10 points of fire damage as this greatsword <laughs> just sort of Jeez. catches you on the move. God damn. <clears throat> So it was 19 yep. points total. Or, well, uh, what was the Nine the slashing? slashing, 10 fire. Okay, so I reduce because I'm raging. So Are you raging? Uh, is it 5 or 4? Yeah, 5 or 4. Yeah, he raged right before um, we went okay. into the room. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm... Well, and after the psychic scream because I oh. lost it. Or oh, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so uh, 5 or 4. Reduce to f 4. Okay. So four in ten. Okay. Slightly better. Okay, and then I'm gonna smack the chain devil. Twenty six hits. Alright. And then I'm gonna action surge and smack him a couple more right. times. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 21 hits. And last one. 27 hits. Yep. 15. Right. Uh, so, Corbin, just in a, in a burst of motion and, and fury, stabs into the first fallen angel, moves across, taking a great sword to the side, and just unloads on the chain devil with that third hit, finally finding purchase, basically in the neck. <clears throat> and as the, as the spear bursts out through its neck, the chains around it go slack as it uh, hits, as it falls off the spear to the ground and begins to burn away. Yes. And I'll make that religion check to see if I know sure. what these are. <laughs> nope. 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 I don't really Some care right now. Some sort of fucking angel. Either. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Agrisol. Um. Okay. Uh, I can't quite get it to Staphylus, and you know, by the time it gets to Staphylus' turn, it probably won't matter. So I'm just gonna. Um, bonus action to move it. Uh, oh, Staphylus can get to it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yeah, I, and, <laughs> and if Staphylus is standing in it, it makes it harder for everyone else to go through it. Yep. Uh, Staphylus think, has a lot of I think Staphylus, so yeah, has some, it, has some extra movement to, to burn. So you're running it through uh, uh, Baldrin and Selena on the way out there? Unfortunately, when I am moving it, that doesn't okay. matter. Otherwise, it's a broken as fuck spell. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, you can break it by essentially after after a thing having the party do laps through it. <laughs> but you can't have it do laps through no. the party. Um, especially if it doesn't now require Lucia. any sort of action. And then he's gonna move, flying through <clears> the square. <throat> at which point, he does get some healing. Ah. Uh, And 
And that's why it's not that <laughs> broken. <laughs> you heal one point. One's better than none. And then back mm -hmm. there. Then Quite action <clears throat> to make two attacks against the right. one next to Hope. <clears throat> I guess I should probably make that religion check everyone's making. But I have disadvantage because I'm exhausted, and this is not a favorite enemy type. I'm... Unless this is suddenly an elemental. Uh, no, it is a celestial. <laughs> yeah. They do have wings, though, so there's that. Not everything. Everything with rings is just, like, normally able. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they're like me. Uh, no, you had no idea. What, you, you have, they, they look like angels, but you don't know exactly what they are. I know they came through a, a portal to from another yep. plane. Um, and I know that they're attacking people. So we're going to try this. Um Longbow, longbow. Okay, 29, and a fifth, uh, 29 hits, the 15 misses. Doing 16 points of damage. You know what? Fuck it, I'm burning planar warrior. Uh, an additional 15 yeah, force so damage. Just this <clears throat> one arrow goes wide, but the other one... Just sort of, uh, as it's traveling through the air, looks almost like it sort of breaks the sound barrier as this extra, as this extra, like, sort of wave of force just poof, erupts around it as it smashes into the angel. I can do re damage to reality too, fucker. <laughs> I just saw yells. I'm sure reality appreciates that. To the person that. who's not there anymore. I do damage to reality in a way that protects the integrity of reality. Uh, question, is Agdrasol's mask down right now, or does he yes, saw that up? Yes, it's... Okay. Hmm. It is... I didn't... I should have said this because it's the first time. Um, basically, um, he didn't have a chance to put it back up because he was stunned, so it was down when we were shooting at the bar... At the violinist. Mm -hmm. um, and then he just started looking at the angels instead once he was unstunned. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Selena. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast both on... Top one? Or three? All three All on right. that one. A 12 misses. 17 and an 18 hit. Alright. Yay. The two uh, bursts of Eldritch, three bursts of Eldritch energy come out. One strikes wide, the other two <laughs> put a pair of holes in the angel's chest as it <laughs> falls backward and begins to similarly begin to burn away. Can we finish this and move on, people? We got people, we got someone to kill. Uh... Uh, I believe our guide has, uh, what the hell do you say, uh, done a runner. Hmm. Aldrin. Yeah, I don't care about him. Uh, Boulder we know. Steps oh, around. oh, Nautilus. No, I kind of care about him, but only a little. And just kind of puts his hand on the table as he pulls a wand out from his belt and just points it at the angel. Be gone from this place. And he casts hey, the save? Uh, what is the save on <clears throat> wand banishment? Uh, difficult. I, a, I believe Not it's a charisma difficult. save. I know. Yeah, it's a charisma saving throw. Spell save DC of uh, 15. Well, with a 20. <laughs> Fine, I mean, then. it is an angel. It might be a corrupted angel, but it's still an angel. <laughs> oh, I've got more charges. Uh, bonus action. First level healing word on Corbin. Heal five. I keep rolling ones on my healing. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, hope. Okay, um, I don't know if I can keep making the religion checks to not, see if, like, because no. if Hope knows, okay, all right, um, cool. Um, I'm going to speak in Celestial, though, and ask, where did he go, uh, as I hit him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Where did he go? Cause... Where did he go? <laughs> yep. So Where is attack, he? extra attack, and then my yeah. uh, other one. I'm going to move around here, so I'm flanking. Uh, you can make me a persuasion check. Okay. You do have bardic advantage. You do have bardic. Oh! This is an opposed roll, so you do have bardic inspiration if you want to use it. I will. Uh, is it a d6? D8. D8. <clears throat> D8. Sweet. All right. So, 30. Plus 7. All right. 30. Oh, that's pretty good. 30 and a great. Right, so, go ahead and mm -hmm. make your attacks. Okay. Um, As I roll hmm. a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> um, how hurt does this thing look already? Um, pretty hurt. Okay. I'm going to hold back a bit and not try and, like, kill it. Uh, Are you smacking him with the flats? Yeah. The blade. <laughs> Uh, oops, sorry, I have an advantage. Um, so this is for this advantage on that one. 21. Uh, <clears throat> 13 misses. 23, 23. Okay. All right. So 7 plus 2 and 6 plus 2 plus sneak attack. Is, where's my sneak attack? Where did I put that? There it is. Plus eight. All right. So, so as the scimitar flashes three uh, flashes three times, twice striking true onto the onto the angel. Um, as you're as you're calling out in celestial, it it man like sort of staggering back from the blow as it manages to sort of uh uh, uh um struggle out uh in in celestial. Free me. How? <laughs> Your eyes are immediately drawn to the chains on it. Okay. Get the chains off of him. And that's my turn, I assume. Because that was my attack, my action, and my mm -hmm. bonus action. Uh, Adolfo's turn. Uh, Adolfo continues to play valiantly, casting another masculine word. Because that's all I can really do right now. Dude, that was shitty and pathetic. Um, Welcome to my yeah. healing word. <laughs> you all heal. You all heal <laughs> seven. <clears throat> um, and just for shits and giggles, uh, hope gets another inspiration. Uh, that makes it the angel's turn, who continues the attack on hope. Yep. Uh, that one's gone. Uh, bam. Oh, does a twenty-three and a twenty-six hit? All right. Yep. Uh, that's thirteen slashing and seventeen fire. Uh, the thirteen slashing is reduced Ooh. to four, to six. Uh, and then eleven okay. slashing and seventeen fire. The eleven slashing is reduced to five. Ooh. Okay. Uh, there's this great uh, sword just. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, and uh, that makes it Staffless's turn. All right, reminder: uh, you're still hurt. There's a little ten feet of movement feeling. to here. D six. Yep. Okay. For one, I heal a hit point. One is better than mm -hmm. none. It, it, yeah, it's not a great spell. <laughs> it's okay. I rolled I rolled two ones on Adolfo's mass healing word. The healing is not going so well right now. Yeah. <laughs> 25 to here. Yeah. All right. So I heard Hope say, get Correct. the chains off of it. Yep. How mm. are the chains The chains attached? seem to be burned into its flesh. But they are actual, they like, are physical, physical chains. chains. Yes. Um, Staphylus is going to try make, and make me an, just target a make link. Me an oh, okay. Make me. Arcana yeah. check. Hey. Uh, not at advantage. Hang on. 18. You feel like, so just looking at these, it feels like they are magically bound to it. 
you're pretty certain that physically yeah. yanking the chains isn't going to be able to do it. Something, that, Some sort of magic that could unlock things might be able to unlock the chains. We need to unlock spells today. <laughs> um, and in the meantime, we are just going to hit this thing a couple times. Are you trying to be lethal. Okay. No. 26 hits. We are dealing subjual right. damage, if that's a thing in this setting. Uh, 10, uh, and he needs to make the DC 16 con save again. Failed. Rolled he four. is stunned. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I drop my staff, so I hit him twice. <laughs> so you, you, psh, one, and second, your hands are slippery with blood and sweat and, it is, and alcohol. And it's just, out of your hands. Right. <laughs> against the other wall. Um, <laughs> uh, so spend another key for flurry of blows. 16 hits. 16. Advantage. Hit him for eight. Uh, how, how would you like to subdue him? I just punch him in the head a couple times, <laughs> and then I, and then as he hits, I like accidentally get uh, my uh, my monk hand bindings caught in one of the chains, and I tumble down with him, flip over, and somehow manage to stumble to my feet, having picked up my staff along the yeah, way. Yeah, so yeah, you just see this <laughs> quarter staff, throw the quarter staff, pop, pop, roll, <laughs> just tumble forward and be standing back on the other side of the angel who is now collapsed on the ground. Kind of. Um, Bracing myself against the wall. Uh, so the angel is on the ground. It is currently unconscious um, as the other two bodies burn away. And we are out of initiative. And as we pause for a moment there, we're going to shift scenes a little bit. So, Sarah. <clears throat> yeah. You have been in Ilan uh, for a while now. Um you 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 have learned that the the entity you are hunting ekin uh is part of the shifting sands some sort of secretive organization uh who have this massive sandstone palace out in the desert um you can see it from town and and you you've been warned away from actually going out there and but you you know that that nautilus guy got in there somehow uh, you're not certain exactly how, but you haven't seen him around, so you, you figure maybe he's out there doing something. So, early this morning, you actually set out to go out, and you, you figure, fuck it, I'm just going through the front door. Um, so you actually set out to, um, the palace. And as you approach, you see this massive, uh, four-pillared, uh, sandstone, uh, almost pyramid-esque building, uh, uh, or 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 not necessarily quite, pi not necessarily quite pyramid. Maybe more. Um, what's the the Aztecs? The Aztec tiered ziggurat. Ziggurat. More mm -hmm. ziggurat-esque. Yep. Um, but at the very front, there is a sort of dug-in trench to the bu uh, to the building that leads to a massive set of double doors. And as you approach, go ahead and describe yourself for the audience. Uh, all right. Uh, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, God, this place is ugly. Uh, <laughs> I am a, uh, a young person. Uh, I am wearing a hooded cloak. I don't know why that's the sign for hooded cloak, but there you go. Um, I'm wearing a hooded cloak. Um, I have very uh, pale skin under the cloak. I have very um, fine white hair, and my eyes are kind of golden. Um, and I'm just strolling along, just having a day. <laughs> So yeah, you, you, you sort of walk up, and you, you don't see any signs of activity, so you're not 100% certain why people were so concerned about going to the front door. Um, but you do approach, and the, again, this massive set of sandstone doors in front of you. God, this place is hideous. Uh, all right. 
I will uh, it, it, knock on the front it's especially, door. It's especially troubling to you because you come from a very sort of like uh, rainforest jungle type area of the world. And so you've, you've basically gone to the exact, not, not the exact opposite, but one of the other extremes of, of, of thing. Rather than a jungle, you're in a desert. It's, it's uncomfortable here. Uh, but you go up and you, you sort of knock on the door. And after a few moments, the door's open. Oh, that's never good. There is a darkened interior. Uh... Great. Uh, perfect. Um, I'm going to lean into the door and say, hello? You hear the sound of your voice echoing. Hello, hello, hello. Um, using my dark vision, what do I see in, uh, inside? Currently, you see an empty hallway. Uh, are there any, is there any furniture in the nope. hallway? Any distinguishing arches? sandstone walls. Where does the hallway appear to be leading? Does it appear to have only one end? It seems, or it's only um, like one way. There doors? doesn't seem to be a door at the far end. Oh, all right. Um, I would like to go in, but first, I would like to look around and find uh, some sort of rock or a stick and put it in the door so the door doesn't sure. slam shut on me and you, trap you me it, in here. You find a stick and you sort of jam it in like the like the crack, like the the sort of the the hinge of the uh, of the door. I look at it critically and I say, "Yeah, that's gonna work." Um, <laughs> uh, and then I roll my eyes and start walking down About the hallway. Fifteen feet in, do you hear the doors begin to move, accompanied by the loud of that stick snapping as the door <laughs> closes behind you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I expected. Um, all right. I'm just going to keep right. moving very slowly. Um, <laughs> just sort of hand out in front of me as though it's going to do something. So, um, like my hand is going to protect me. At the far end of the hallway, at it the far end not. of the hallway, there is a door. It is made of sandstone, and it doesn't have a handle. It looks like it just sort of pushes open. Um, I'm going to look okay, around. Give me a perception check. Then I'm going to say, shit, I should have brought another stick. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, a perception check. Uh, I don't know why I have advantage on. You probably have it set to... I, I, didn't, I forgot to set it to... I forgot to change it to toggle, so if you'll go into the... Go to the systems and oh, change okay, that. yep, I'll do that. Um... 19, so um, 19, that was fine. Yes, 19. Uh, so, you look around, uh, this is sort of like just smooth sandstone, there's a fine layer of dust over the floor, but there doesn't seem to be anything else in here other than you, it's just a, it's just an empty hallway with no torches, no nothing, and a door. Alright, um, before I push the door open, um, I take out, uh, from my pack, um, my calligrapher's kit, uh, and a pen, or you know, yeah. a quill, or whatever the whatever yeah, the it's common, a port. yeah, yeah. A portable ink um, and then I write uh, on a little scrap of parchment. Um, if this was really stupid, please send my effects back to blah blah blah. And I write yeah. down my family. Uh, this is not the first note I've left of these. Just hoping to get lucky one of these times. Uh, thanks for all the good times. Yero. And then I leave, uh, then I leave it in the hall next to the door. I look at it and I say, well, I'll pick that up on the way back if nothing else happens. All right. <laughs> and then I push open the door. The door opens and you find yourself standing in a large square room with no other doors, um, and some arcane blue markings on the floor. Do I recognize the track. markings? I sure can do that. Looks 14. like a teleportation circle. You've seen these before. Um, it looks like the kind of teleportation circle that is already primed. Like it's got a destination in mind, just waiting for something to walk onto it. Can I tell what the destination no is? Um, 
What do I know about teleportation circles? Uh, they're typically, typically, not always, but typically they are sort of a one-to-one -one connection. Um, you cast the teleportation circle spell and it takes you to a location where there is another teleportation circle. Um, there's no real way of All telling. Right. You, you can memorize the sigils and teleport back to one, but one that's already primed like this, there's no real way of telling where it's going to go. Okay. Um, I, again, take out my kit and I draw the signals. The sigils. Yeah, so the sigils. 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 <laughs> sigils. <laughs> sigils. I draw the sigils and then I put that back in my bag. Um, and then I shake my head and I say my parents would be so disappointed in me. And then I walk on to it. Roll me a it. D100. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so amazing. Okay. 53. So, back in the other room. Uh, the group of you have just finished uh, knocking out this one uh, angel and the other two have burnt away and you're in this, uh, your, uh, Agdrasol pulls the, 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 the mask back down. Um, and you are all in this room. I got my spirit all right, on this I, thing's throat. Did they leave anything behind the two no. that burned away? Okay. Damn. I, it's never been, properly this question has never been properly answered although it has been asked does dispel magic work on enchanted things that may not be spells because 5e weirds it words it in a way that is always very specific to spells but says choose any creature or object or magical effect within it language. can work on enchanted objects not all of them but some of them. I I'm will arcane the, the sword. Arcana the sword. Or arcana the, the chains. Sorry. Or, yeah, I'm taking the right, sword. You take the sword. Taking yeah. his sword away. She walks over. She looks at it. You're pretty 16. certain. So uh, th just, just sort of logicking it through your head for a minute, you sort of think about what these chains are and what they represent and how taking them off would be required. Um... And uh, it, you're doing this while Hope sort of drags the great sword away, and as Hope drags the great sword away, it pff, flares up and disappears. Okay, that's on fire. I mean, it's, it, it just burns away. Um, yeah. Uh, and you're sort of logic. You're sort of puzzling it out, thinking logically through the through the sequence of what would have had to have happened for this thing to come into existence. Um, and you're right. pretty certain that you could theoretically dispel this but it, the chains wouldn't be the target of your of your casting the whatever devil or demon bound it would be the target of your casting and they're not here you have to dispel someone else why are we not spell why didn't we just kill it because it said that if we got the chains off it would help do what? Corbin, do you want the sword? The sword's I gone. asked if it knew where where Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's it's why oh, it's disappeared. Uh, ah, yeah. got it. Cool. Um do what? Find where he went where Valdo went. I mean, I feel like Nautilus has that covered. That's what Nautilus came in here for. That's what Nautilus ran through the portal for. As this but we might be able to help him and gesture down. Can I tell, like, how to get the chains off at all? Uh, I okay. absolutely could. If the creature who, was, who, who put them in the chains, look over where there's a little pile of soot on the ground where the chain devil was. Um, We're still here. Like, yeah, that. like, uh, you're not certain. Uh, I just saw what, what were you doing. I'll roll that arcana. But as this conversation is happening, I'm gonna try and get hope to essentially start a turn in the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Maneuver. Uh, so this, this little tiny bird spirit flies over and throughs you, through you, and you heal oh, a d6. Okay. All Take right. five healing. I, I heal, like, once every turn anyway. 
but okay. One. You know so, what? I'm trying to get use out of this spell, <laughs> and no one's been actually walking there. I so, did. You did. There's, there's, a, there's, can... there's a question that I have okay. for the DM. Um. Never mind. It answered it in the spell in the spell text. Forget I said. <laughs> can can I tell looking at the chains? Yeah, that you're, it you're, yeah. Be looking able, at the I chains, you're pretty like... certain you can't physically remove them. They've been they've been burned into the the angel's arms, like they have basically subsumed the flesh that was there. The there mm-hmm. there is no flesh mm-hmm. there. There is now just chain. Um, and so you'd have to cut its arms off to get the chains off of it, and that would kill it and make it respawn back wherever it was, uh, mm-hmm. wherever it respawns with the chains back on it. Can I... Mm, There's no I luck we these... can do here. Um, why not? This is a thing that I can do once a day, and it never works. So, um... <laughs> Boldrin just kind of mutters under his breath, um... Father, this being of the angelic planes is bound against its will by unnatural craft. If you deem it worthy, break these chains and offer it freedom. And I will roll a d100 for my divine intervention. Ah! Ah! So, <laughs> as you... <laughs> Selena's going to be like, you didn't use that to say, like, I don't know... Bring Kalen directly in front of us. So as you make that statement, uh, a glowing blue light appears above all of you and a a cloaked female just drops from the ceiling and it hits the ground. Yaro, you've been teleported into some place and smashed into the floor. You also landed hard on something that feels metallic. Are the chains breaking? No, they're not. <laughs> did they just see you fall no, the, the chains? No, Yara did not land on the chains. Yara landed on something else. And I will put you in this room now. There you are. Here. Baldrin, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> you didn't hear what he was saying. He was muttering. <laughs> yes, he was muttering and then boom. That's why I didn't... That's why I didn't say, well, clearly you just mumbled to your god something and someone appeared. <laughs> Baldrin, uh, what the fuck did you just do? Uh, I don't uh, think that was... Uh, can I get an arcana check on the blue sure, flash of whatever? Uh, you... Staff is just immediately, like, leaps backward in astonishment, bounces off the wall, tumbles <laughs> ass over tea kettle past Corbin, and is about five feet away from this individual with his staff out in a vaguely threatening, but in that sort of, you're an old man and I'm an old man and you just walked on my lawn and I probably can't hit you with this sort of stance. Who are you? Uh, that was a poor choice. <laughs> Baldrin, you chose to Welcome. be here with us? No, no. I did not. There's there's something you are, there's something using... metal digging into your side, Yaro. I would like to move and get it out. You move and there's this large key that you apparently landed on. <laughs> For some reason this strikes me as hilarious and I'm going to start laughing um just completely <laughs> insanely. Given what's currently happening, I'm going to move to here which activates the guardian. And give first level cure wounds to hope. Uh, Baldrin, could you hand me that key? Uh, hey. I'm holding the key. I was gonna say, not I'm that I know doing... your name. What race does Staphylus perceive make a, you to make be? A, make yeah. a five for hope. I'm super make high. A... <laughs> Just I'm a I'm a walking make a, cow. Make a history roll, so. Staphylus. Yeah, That's I, a 17. So, yeah, uh, hope, hope you can tell without making a roll. Um, so as you okay. get a glimpse of this person's features, um, Staphylus, you... They look human, but there is a certain ethereal otherworldliness to this person that you recognize whenever you look at Hope. Um, 
Hope, okay. you can tell this is a, a, an ASMR whose legacy comes from Argon. Uh, you, ah! you, there is a certain... Ah, one of the there is a certain. <laughs> there is a certain. Um, yes. There's You're a right. like like when, when you look at when when an ASMR looks at an ASMR, they don't see what everybody else sees. Everybody else sees a human that looks vaguely nice or whatever. Uh, ASMR see the the various keys that 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 tell of their divine lineage. Uh, this person, while they have fairly pale skin and 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 light colored hair and odd color eyes, the 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 specific color of this person's eyes reminds you of wheat in wheat in season. Like just that's instantly the image that you get. Um, and there's just this sense of earthiness and and uh, like sort of like someone who is used to working with their hands about this person. And all those things immediately tick to you are gone. Oh my God! It works. Excuse <laughs> me, young broken. miss. Can, ah! can I? Baldrin. He can answered I you, and he said, "I don't think that was me." Okay, uh, that was probably in the midst of all the. Yeah, it, it was because yeah. I didn't hear it. It was in the middle of everyone talking, but he said, "I don't think that was me." May I have a look at Key, or if you do not wish to uh, relinquish, can you uh, show it to our uh, dwarf captain over there? Hmm? What's what's a size and and shape is obviously it was fairly yeah, large. Yeah, so this, this key is roughly half a foot. Or am I just you're, really you're looking gentle. at it? This key is roughly half a foot long. It's massive. It's it's this massively over designed key. Um, that has sort of as its grip, you recognize the 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 hammer, uh, the hammer of uh, of uh, Banner, the the Forge Father, like sort of as the grip of this key. Oh, can I Someone. like? I realize this is not a thing I can do class wise, but get some sort of like estimate of this person or sure, insight, insight check just. I'm looking for general disposition, maybe capabilities. Give me an insight roll. Uh, I'm a Pisces. How aggressive. <laughs> Something like that. I, I enjoy gardening. Um, Yara, are, are you particularly, are you being particularly withdrawn right now? Or are you more concerned with, ow, I just fell in, on a key? <laughs> no, I'm a little okay. stunned. Uh, just, I'm not trying. I'm yeah. not trying to hide anything. Just uh, confused. Yeah, this, this this person is vague. Is mostly confused. They move with. Uh, they move with a, with an amount of grace that you actually recognize from Staphylus. Funnily enough, um, mm -hmm. and also they, they don't seem to be like cacklingly mad evil. They also don't seem to be like as benevolent, holy light shining down from above as Baldrin. Um, <laughs> okay, so the laughing seems more like confusion yeah, than ha, yeah. ha, I'm going to yeah, no, no, no. all this is, this, is, yeah. this is someone who stumbled okay. into an area that they weren't expecting to be in, fell a great height, yeah. and landed on a key, and everything is just weird and funny right now. Am I take, did I take damage? That's did just what I was hoping no, the key to get. Is, is this person immediately oh, going to start trying no, to murder no, us? That is not such a good thing. Um, I'm going to roll to one side and get up. Uh, and then I'm gonna say, shit, I guess that last note I left is gonna be the one that actually works. Uh, and then I'm gonna hold the key out to whoever's so standing there's, there's over this me. massive Here, minotaur you, standing whatever. next to you. Ah! He, you are strange and unappealing. He very gingerly takes it between his middle finger and thumb. Well, it is, uh... Not against the laws for people to have opinions about other people. Hey, thank you. Uh, do you need hand up? Hmm? No, I'm already on my feet. Yeah, you saw this person like sort of snap up to very agilely. Oh, another practitioner of the arts. Very good to meet you. My name is Staphylus. Uh, Captain! And he I, tosses the key across the room to Baldrin. I he enjoy it. arts. I'm really into sculpture. Uh, now, this one, he says, inspecting the, work, the workmanship of the key... This one's probably mine, or at the very I least, mean, Bowers. Okay, and... so I repeat previous question. <laughs> Sometimes, when you have a very strong relationship with a deity and you make a request, if it suits the deity's whims and thing, and it agrees with the philosophy behind it, occasionally it will lend a hand. 
They said sometimes, sometimes when a god had, had, or lord so love each other very much. much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can absolutely take that that way if you want. If you want to consider what happens if you piss off a god. And, uh, wait a minute. That, wait a minute. Did you just say that a god got me to be here? Because that's some. I don't, some, I, I don't know. Freaky you. shit. I don't know about you, but this key probably. As I as I uh, hold the key up to the chains, does it look is like this it? Con- um, mm-hmm. Wait, is it one of the good ones? Because I don't want to be responsible if we, like, set off a plague of spiders. I mean, like, no offense if you guys are into spiders. I'm not. But... (laughs) Bowners are... If it's it's not, we might be able to stop it fast. Holdrick is seeing if the chains react to the key. Really quick. I'm going to focus down for a moment. Um... So, Baldrin, you walk over and you, you sort of hold the key out. There's no lock, so you're not certain why a key specifically was given to you, but you sort of reach out and touch the key to the chains. And there's a f- bright flash of light as the key vanishes. And the chains just sort of unravel and slough off, revealing the carved out flesh of this, of this entity's arms where the chains were just sort of tied so tightly it looks like they were tied so tightly it just tore the flesh away and you actually see bits of their bone uh, exposed uh from where the muscles should be um and as that happens there's an eruption of fire and light that engulfs you and you alone you take nine points of fire damage okay i'm resistant and to that. 12 points of radiant damage I'm not resistant to that one. Uh, so I take four fire and 12 radiant, which is 16 total. It is puts me right. Um, and there. but as you do, the 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 chains fall away. Um, and uh, uh, the 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 entity begins to stir. The you notice that the the darkened halo above its head turns into a golden color. I mean, I lay a hand on it and give it a first level cure wounds and then yeah, at the yeah, same yeah, time I'm... give myself a first level healing word. Yero starts clapping. This is the best show I've ever seen. This is incredible. Uh, it takes a Wait until we start the drinking. So I heal for five. It heals for 11. Um, so, I, yeah, it, it blinks and... <sighs> stirs to life and as it does it sort of weakly its arms arms uh um obviously in a lot of pain pushes itself to its feet and as it does a radiant glow sort of begins to engulf it um the wings that were tainted black turn white the flesh and chain uh the flesh and chain uh begins to heal itself as this angel begins to stand up. Welcome back to the world of freedom. Liv looks around, glances, looks down at Boldrin, looks over at at Hope, and then in Celestial, you have my thanks. You're welcome. I don't speak Celestial. Um, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It just sort of like looks at down its hand and begins to sort of wincing as it flexes its hand and arm as the mu- you're watching the sort of the muscle and flesh begin to regrow <laughs> where once there was just bone and chain. Mm-hmm. Staphylus turns his back on Yar- Yarrow and goes over to the angel. Excuse me, sir. We have two very important questions for you. <clears throat> uh, first is, what is your name? Second is, do you need drink? <clears throat> what? Do you remember anything of what I said before? Yes, 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 yes. Important questions first. <laughs> the angel looks at you, its eyes like sort of focusing. Uh, and in celestial, what did that one say? He wants to. He's just impatient. First things for. Do you remember anything of what happened before? Do, do you remember what I asked you? Yes. Do you, do you not have Tongue of Sun and Moon yet? <laughs> 13th level. Next. 
There oh, we okay. go. Not yet. You're yes. a little I do remember your question. And I thank you for freeing me. All right. You're you're welcome. Um Oh yeah, don't mention the cleric religion. who actually did that. <laughs> what, <laughs> what was that? Oh, was that uh Aaron? Can I do a religion to figure out what sure. this thing might be? Because Agnarsol's exhausted and has failed every single one of his like figure out what things are checks. Once yeah. the angel was, once oh, we figured out the angel same, was same modifier, three. Right. Um, I mean it's an angel. Uh, it, it is very oh, obviously a okay. celestial. Um, uh, beyond that, you're not certain like what class of angel it might be. You're not certain. Can I make? Uh, with the three, you can say no. Can I make a guess that essentially, whatever it was before, some sort of fiend probably, Baldrin like. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't okay. require a roll. You guys can definitely tell the, the wings becoming white again, the halo turning gold again. All of the with all of that, all of you just can can, can understand implicitly that whatever Baldrin did freed it from whatever control it was under previously. Okay. Once the stuff started with the once the angel was And I know which deity Baldrin serves. Sorry. It's okay. Once the angel was fine, Selena's walked away and has walked over to this door and is right, looking at it. Okay. Meanwhile, um, can I tell what what this what this uh, angel might um, be or not? Give me a religion roll. Okay. Twenty two. That door is hella trapped. <laughs> Natural one. No clue. I did not 24. pay attention uh, that day. Uh, Hope you can't tell what like class of angel it is, yeah. um, but you can mm -hmm. tell that it is an angel of the sundered god. Um, as it, oh. as its flesh is beginning to heal, um, you notice that its left hand side is beginning to darken, um, and and grow more effeminate features, mm -hmm. while its right hand side begins to brighten and turn more white and grow more masculine features. Um, mm -hmm. As as it begins this slow metamorphosis back to its normal form, um, mm -hmm. Staphylus and Baldrin, yeah, you can tell this is a this is an angel of the Sundered God, um, not a, not like an archangel or a high ranking angel. This is one of the lower level, uh, not quite at, not not as powerful celestial entities. Um, not powerful enough to speak all correct. languages. <laughs> it, it it and even if it was, it may just be that the trauma that it has experienced. Um, has uh, has um, sort of rendered it unable to understand languages other than celestial at this point. Need our trap springer on this door. I'm busy. Uh, you have I just saw a little, that I one. Look to it over. Thank Craig. It was really, it was really cool. I didn't know that would actually work. That was amazing, Baldrin. That was amazing. I'm going to say that in common. I'm going to ask. I'm going to figure out. Um, uh, so his first question, pointing at Staphylus, um, was what your name is. Don't remember. I've that's, been apart that's from okay. my divine realm for too long. I need to return. Can you get back there yourself? Does that all speak celestial? Mm. I genuinely don't I know. Think so. <laughs> Rangers yeah. get a shit ton of languages. Let me check. No, I took yeah. primordial. Yeah, you don't. You, mm -mm. He is. He, yeah, I have redundant <laughs> primordial. Never mind. Yeah, he is. Right. He is speaking exclusively in celestial. Hope knows that Agdrasol's specialty is interplanar travel related thing. Mm -hmm. I'm. Yeah, I. I. I don't think I would think that yet. I, I wouldn't start okay. translating yet. Um. Can you stay a bit longer? We need some help getting through this. I can tell you what I know. But I am weak and must return. What do you wish to know? Um... Where is Kaelin? Kaelin lies above. Once I hear a name, yeah, that, I, yeah, at least yeah. The, I the, the name, name is, is the same, same no matter what. So you hear yeah. Kaelin. turn around, and then you hear it say Kaelin and continue in Celestial. Kaelin mm -hmm. lies above, 
There is a throne called the... Uh, it is the Dragon Orb Throne from which he is controlled. Controlled by who? An entity of darkness. I do not know its name. Well, that sounds bad. Okay. Um, what? Could you get us there? I am too weak, but I can tell you how to get there. At least as the palace is currently. If you linger too long, its hallways will change. And that information will be gone. They can bring us to Kaelin. I'm saying now? that in common. Yep. Right now? Yeah. Yes. They they know the layout to get there right now. I don't know how long they can stay. They're they don't look great. What are we waiting for? Do you have any other questions? Are you ready? Are we ready? Can we get talking we're gonna have the... to be can we get like a map or instructions are we talking knows the way there or can take us there mm, i'll ask clarification know the way there or take us there in i Celestial. cannot take you there but i can show you the way show you can they can show us the way well it's better than nothing corbin will stand I mean, it's up better than wandering stretch yeah. And then Good enough for me. Moment. Where are we going? There's something else going on, Selena. The, the, Kaylin's being controlled by something from a throne. Yeah, this sounds like, that sounds probably about right. Yeah, He's the kind of gonna... person who would do terrible something terrible like that. Yeah. Staphylus yeah, has like, poured a mug of Netflix wine the... for both Yarrow and the it Angel, is and now. is just handing them out. The Angel mm -hmm. takes the wine and looks at it. There are drinks with this show. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> And drinks a little bit, looks at it, taps it, and drinks again. <laughs> I'll whisper to Hope, you should probably explain it's a gesture of friendship. I don't think, I don't think they're, they're offended. They don't look offended. Okay. It just tasted weird. Honestly, um, I drink more with Faye than Celestials. So. Do you want me to ask any more questions? Do you have any more questions? Uh, I was asking. I, 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 and that, and roughly that point, it was ask, yeah. or they were asking oh, that, that okay. question as well. There we go. Okay. Um, I just saw a little to hope. Uh, do they need uh, any assistance getting home? Does it need home? help getting back? Where the, is it going back to? They understand is you Is it know. going to invade this realm? So you translate that back? Uh, oh, I thought you said that they started understanding common no, by this no, point. No, they were just responding to you. They're oh, still in, okay. only in Celestial. Oh, got, got it. I was saying that to the, to yeah, the yeah, group. Yeah. The, um, yes, we, you have we any know. More Two things happen yeah. simultaneously. Got it. Cool. Cool. So you repeat the question? Uh, yes. I must return to Sundered Realm. I can get there on my own, but it will be the last of my power. Can you make it? I will make it. Okay. <laughs> if they need assistance getting back, it, it's... I pull the Wand of Banishment. It sends creatures back to their home plane. That The, the one that he has will send... Can send There's you back. an immediate sort of like terror to its face, and it just sort of drops the mm -hmm. thing. No, That's no, not don't, don't. Likely do to that. work in this instance, the ranger. Don't, don't, don't send them back. All they right. might end up in I've the wrong spot. I've been away from my home That's too fair. long. That would send me to where I was. Yeah. It don't do away. that. Um. Planar attunement's a thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um <coughs> Yeah. Um brings to Kaylin. Do you know anything more about this this dragon orb throne? It is a powerful artifact. 
bestowed upon Kaelin as a gift, but it was a disguise. It is a trap. He does not run the shifting sands. All right. I translate that for the group. Well, the last thing we'll need before it leaves is we'll need a map or at least a knowledge of where we're going. Yep. Can you show us the way now? I, so... I don't know if Hope translated it and I just never got an answer back, but Agdrasol did ask if there was another question. What was the other question? Oh, okay, I don't remember the question. Um, I just keep getting interrupted. Um, Agdrasol had asked if it was, I can't remember the exact wording, but essentially if it was going to come back and intrude upon this plane, essentially. Uh, if, if if it was going to come back and attack if, this plane, yeah. If yeah. if the angel was, or if the yes, the, the angel. angel. The the, the angel's uh, only desire is currently to go home. Yeah, I I wouldn't tra- I I don't think I'd actually translate that because okay. I don't think it is. It would have been nice for that to have been actually specified, but that's okay. sorry. Yeah, I I didn't hear that question. You heard the other two. Anyways, okay. Moving on. Um. So it just sort of reaches out and holds a hand out towards Hope. Yes. It's it's looking at you expectantly. Um. The question that it asked got make, lost. Make, too. Make, was make, the, yeah, it sorry, asked. my they internet. They they didn't ask out. question. Make me an insight roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that'd be fun. Fifteen. It, it, it seems like it wants you to step forward. Um, I will. They, 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 they sort of put the hand over your forehead, covering your eyes with their palm. And as they do, you sort of feel knowledge flowing into you of... The layout oh, weird. of the thing of the the palace currently, um, mm-hmm. and you get the idea that the stairs leading up are almost immediately to the south of you. But to get there, you are going to need to backtrack actually through the rest area you were in previously, and it okay. is almost immediately to the west of the west of the rest area you were just in. Okay. Did, did the rest area have yes, more than one door? Over to the south. All right. Okay. Um, so the rest area, we have to go back there and then go west, and there's some stairs up. Uh, you also get a sense of warning. Okay. Um, it seems that the room before... The room uh, before the... Stairs is guarded. And there's guard there's some sort of guard on right before the stairs. Will the stairs go all the way up to the floor Kaylin's on, or are we gonna have to go through another floor if it knows? It seems like for, for, for the don't. information you've been imparted, uh hope the stairs lead straight to the throne. Nope, straight up. Sweet. Cool. There are what only two floors. <laughs> Straight up. Just the way I like my drinks. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, You're good, I said said that in Celestial, not not to you. (laughs) (laughs) Language hopping. It it creates communication. Yeah, it does. They say. Uh, Before sort of floating, hovering over to the table. By the way, my name is Hope. Just gonna throw that out there. Thank, thank you. By the way. By the way. Oh, it doesn't really matter for the angel, but before the concentration on the spell ends, I probably have a chance to get a another d6 of healing to each member of the group 
And I'll try and also include the angel. I don't know if the spell will affect them or not. Yeah, it will. I'm at... But it definitely isn't harmful, because that's (laughs) not how my magic works. Mm. It's not much, but hey, everyone's a little bit nicked, so... Uh, The angel moves over to the table where that violin that Valda had been playing has Mm -hmm. laid down, reaches out and picks up the violin... And as it, as they do, they sort of hold the violin out, and it begins to play. Um, it begins to play a very uh, melancholy tune, and sort of as the tune hits a crescendo, a portal opens in the middle of the room, uh, and the angel walks through it. And as the angel walks through, the portal closes, and the violin drops. Staphylus tumbles over and catches it mm. before it hits the ground. Mm. That might be of a good amount of use later if we should hold on to that. All right, let's boogaloo, people. Do we want we in in the resting room where time is somewhat dilated, not a full night's rest, but an hour to bind wounds, which should only take a few minutes, theoretically, outside? The, the, is very good idea. We should. Would I know if the layout would change significantly in that amount Not of time? Likely, no. Okay. Yeah, that's what the it. restroom's for. Yeah. <laughs> <Fuck>. Restroom. <laughs> We're gonna take a restroom break. <laughs> hey, new lady, um, you want to get out of here alive? Yero raises her hand, not realizing it's the one with the wine still on it, and like <laughs> splashes it on herself. Um, question: uh, What's happening here? Um, there is a terrible person who is up in the top of this tower. We're going to go kill them. This is the head of a crime syndicate called the Shifting Sands Headquarters. We're sort of underground right now. Um, Wait a minute, I'm still, in, I'm still in the same building I was earlier? That's a bullshit teleportation circle. At least make it go somewhere cool. Oh. Hey, why are you, you here? Uh, yeah, special business. Uh, you know. Uh, you need help? Looking <laughs> for some people. All of a sudden, yeah. there is wreck. <laughs> yeah. Dare. Corbin's just leaning on the, sta- on the spear now, just like looking her over like, all right, what the fuck? Yeah, looking for some guys who did some bad things and, uh-huh. uh, Oh, you know, the bad. Well, the, I mean, mm, you're real bad at lying. Yeah, yeah I'm insight checking the shit sure, out of this. Checks. Yeah, actually, uh, go, do you actually have names for, for said people? Nineteen. Yero is one hundred percent telling you the truth. Yeah, Yero is actually I'm just telling you the truth. instincts. She's, She's not being lying. Really cagey. She's just a shitty conversationalist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there were some people who did some things, and I'm trying to find those people and uh, make sure they don't do those things again. Which mm-hmm. people? Uh, you know, I don't know if you'd know them. They're like a, I'm gonna like a, like try a, gr- me. a group that worships um, like an evil group. Um, and then they, they go places and have like special meetings, and then they do things like ch- chanting. Wait. Wait, 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 what do you know You're about this cult? talking is about this big. We needed it to narrow down to names. Well. Proper nouns are useful f- for communication. I don't have a whole lot of those. But, but you have at least two. one. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the very first guy that started my whole uh, meander through the desert... Um, his name was Charlie, um, but he is dead. Okay. So, not important anymore. How do you um, know they're here? I, I don't. Uh, I got some, some intel from some people back in the town at a what? bar. Uh, who? <laughs> Did so they look sl- like... Uh, I start describing Nautilus because I'm. Yeah, that's that's what that's what the guy that told you about the the building looked like. Yeah. Yeah, that's 
the guy that told me what the building looked like. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, uh, you have unfortunately just missed him. That's okay. I didn't really like. I didn't really like him. It's cool. He literally went to hell. Oh, <laughs> good for him. I'm sure what, it's lovely. What's the name of the person you're looking for in this building, then? Uh, I'm really not looking for a specific person. Just um, looking Corbin for some down. people. <laughs> whether, whether or not you, whether or not you care, you know what we can talk about this well, over Sarah, a rest. Just in case you've Let's forgotten the name heading. in particular, Ekin was the name of the person you were looking for. Whether or not you shared that, you that's the name. Yeah, I know. Okay, I wrote okay. that down. Um, really, not looking for specific people. Just sort of looking for um, some some vengeance. I mean, not vengeance, but like righting wrongs, taking care. Oh of no, things. no, no! Vengeance is good. That's why we're here. Hey, That's can why we not have you. this conversation yes, and yes. also let's, head to a short rest? Unless all is right, let's yes, go to let's yes, go to the yes. let's go to the time I'm dilation gonna, room. I'm gonna move you I, ha- I hand I hand the wine back to the cowman, and I say, "I'm really sorry about that whole unnatural and appealing thing. That was when I thought this was a play. Also, I don't like wine." Are you I, more a beer person? I pat him on the shoulder. Uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, I don't do that. I. Uh, fruit You're juice? going to have slightly difficult time fitting in here, but we are a very inclusive group. Fruit, Come. fruit juices. Uh, oh. Smoothie. Wine is a type of fruit juice, but it, I understand yeah, yeah. your variation. Hmm? Yeah. Anyway, keep up the good work, and she pats him on the shoulder. I like how both of the Thank people you. the staff was handed a glass of wine to don't drink alcohol. <laughs> the angel just purified it immediately. It's just like... Ting. <laughs> uh, did my 15 turn uh, yes. up anything? So, while the conversation with Yara was happening, staff was very quickly ransacked the place. Uh, the chest that was on the desk was open, uh, and you opened it up to about, to about uh, 500 platinum pieces. Um... Nice. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, a cup, and, and inside there was uh, and three cups. There, no, actually, there were there was uh, <laughs> a there were three uh, diamonds in there as well. Ooh, what value organization of diamonds? <laughs> because I have a feeling our cleric they were, might want uh, them. They, they're, they're fairly good clarity and quality. Bolton will be able to identify them as about a thousand gold, uh, worth a thousand gold each. How many diamonds were those? those can be used like three worth a thousand gold each. Those are for Ray's dead. Those are the good Yeah, I was gonna diamonds. say, I feel like those are the next level up. Actually, no, those are those are better than Ray's dead. I can use those for like um resurrection, mm-hmm. which I can't even cast yet. Well, good. Probably if Staphylus knows anything about spell components, you might want to give those to the cleric. Let's see if staff listeners anything about. You don't have to components. roll. You know diamonds are used to bring people back to life. Okay. Damn it. That is a. That is a. That, <laughs> staff listeners. That, that is a. That is a. A, you're a monk. B, that's a common piece of knowledge. Right. Yep. Yep. I was waiting for him to go mm, shiny and just pop it in his mouth. Diamonds uh, are a focusing lens. I feel like you could make a. That sounds like the song lyrics to the D and D version of Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Right. <laughs> uh, so yes, you guys can all take a short rest. Uh, those of you that get things back on short rest, before you get them back. You can spend your hit points or spend your hit dice. Cool, cool, cool. I realize I just have not told anyone my name. That's probably. Okay, we'll get there. Yeah. So while we're resting, Agrisol's gonna. Move if he can move the conversation tone away from the sort of accusatory interview and more into like, hey, so I'm Agrisol. I shoot things with a bow. Um, my hobbies are flying <laughs> and alcohol. What's your name? Uh, I'm Yarrow. I hit things with a stick. My hobbies are napping and calligraphy. Oh I also God. do card tricks and vengeance. No, uh, that wandered in here. <laughs> that's a more that's a more recent pursuit. Uh, no, wrong you all it. you and all get I another win, you all get an extra d6 of healing. S- Actually, wait, hang on. Song of Rest is better now. Uh, I wouldn't say it's vengeance. Um, more like looking to correct a misunderstanding in the world. 
<laughs> the world had a misunderstanding about something, and I need to fix this. Yeah, there was a little misunderstanding. So uh, I guess... <laughs> yeah, going to fix that, and then we'll just... Uh, uh, yeah, you all get an extra D8 I'm... of healing. Oh, well, I may not have to use that one that I just... Mm. As you have to type roll as, as, um, as Adolfo is nope, as Adolfo is sort not. of playing a, a, a bit of a party jig. Um. So there we go. Vengeance is great. Correcting it's mistakes. Not, it's not vengeance. Shh. <laughs> oh, Selena darling. Selena has a vengeance. Thing. I wouldn't do that. Let me finish. Vengeance is great. Correcting mistakes is great. Whatever, <laughs> however it, you phrase it is fine. I just want to make sure. You don't have names. Do you know who? Do you, do, are you, are there actual, like, if, do you know them if you see them? Do I know them? If I mean, I the see cultists, them? The, the, the people, people that you want to, uh, to the cultists correct. have a very distinct robe. Yes. I mean, I... Yeah. I'll know them when I see them. I'm going to describe Kalen. Fit your description. Does that fit not my all. description? No, that's not, that's Perfect. not what I'm looking for. Peachy keen. Because there's already there's already at least two people racing for that one, and as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, ladies are first. I simply want to be there as he dies. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the thing is I know that you'll be okay with it. I don't want to have to race my way to get my hands around his neck from other people. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, who are you guys going after? His name's Kalen. He's, oh. he's the leader of this this place. Apparently, there's some sort of throne that may have him partially yeah. brainwashed. Six Someone one should half tell him yeah. his house is ugly. <laughs> oh. I believe that he's on the list, but probably yeah. slightly uh, slightly below the murder portion. Well, we should probably tell him before so he dies. You know. Sad. Yeah, I mean, he murders it. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, I don't know. We can so... tell him after. Baldur, you oh. can speak with dead, right? Let me tell you something about dead speaking it. with the dead. They don't actually learn anything after they're dead. Well, that's his problem. So Some people don't learn things before they're dead either. It's really quite sad. Um, anyway, how long have you guys been uh, doing your little... Uh, about four days. <clears throat> Longer We've than been that. down really? here for about um, a day and a half. It depends on how you count it, because there's a pocket of the Forge Father distorting time where we're currently sitting. Uh, the plane chamber. Uh, Thank okay. you. Yero takes out a small book from her bag and writes down, uh, Stuck in Pocket of Time by Forge Father. Under plane what chamber. Looks if anyone if anyone looks at it, it says list of new experiences I have had since leaving home. <laughs> uh, Corbin's gonna real quick just describe the last group of robed people he ran into and see if that jogs her memory. Nope. Does that jog not the same memory? Okay. No, I'm not looking for um, them either. Sorry, you guys run into a lot of. Is there any people. particular iconography? Did they have? Dragon skulls? Did they have some bats? Spiders? <laughs> they had. They Wasps. for for Yaro's edification. Uh, they all had a. Um, it was sort of a human skull, wreathed in green flame or greenish purple flame iconography. It was Make sort it of a skull, real. but it was sort of hideous. So, do with that what you will. As opposed to the really Welcome pretty religion skulls. checks. There were, there were some. Does planes. it sound like the icon of ultimate evil? No. Yeah, that's. Yeah. All right. There that's were some flames. There was like some stylized, um, you know, markings. It sounds exhaustion. It, sucks. Uh, for everyone that made higher than a ten. 
to the three of you. Um, it sounds like uh, it sounds like it's probably an icon of a Fierty, Lord of Shadow. It was very like rebel teenager wants to get a tattoo and piss off his parents. Ah, uh, yes, the Shadow Lord. Hmm. But you know, they're kind of a little more dangerous than that. Well, Shadow Lord is deity is access to powers is you know much of deceit and treachery and fear and murder and mm -hmm. things of such ilk i mean it'd probably be cool with what we're doing right now also little known fact is a patron of a large group of werewolves on another planet <clears throat> hero takes out the book again writes down was mansplained to and then puts it away <laughs> Oh, then she takes it back out, scribbles out man, and writes down cow. <laughs> Thank you. Cow was cow-splained. Was cow-splained, too. And then puts um, it away and, again. Uh, specifically, uh, Eferti uh, also is commonly believed to be uh, sort of the god of devils as well. And he's Asmodeus. <laughs> yeah. In other settings. Well, that sucks. Um, so how did you first encounter this group? Well, it's not a very exciting story. That's um, okay. Got it, but we've got a little time. <clears throat> oh, we do? Yeah. Is there like a specific time that doors open and stuff? Like a... No, we're just, we are recuperating here right now. Oh, Oh, that time Sorry, door. we were all kind of banged up when you met us, uh, so we're... We just fought to... a bunch of things. That time door thing would be a much more interesting explanation, but all right, I'll take it. Uh, it's been a while since I first met the uh, the uh, dude bros in robes. Um, Let's just say that sometimes you need to be a little more careful doing background checks on guys that you hire to work at your family business. Um, because maybe they have a crazy bitch ex-wife who comes back for them. And then, you know, she just starts making hand gestures in the air like she's trying to describe something that's not really, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No. What kind of business does your family have? Uh, they kind of do everything. Such They're... as? I mean, like... Everything is everything. <clears throat> yeah. Cow guy gets it. They probably have connections with food and 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 soft goods and hard goods uh, they, they, do. Probably they, do. Do, uh, they probably do they probably do extortion rackets and protection no. rackets no, oh, no, so no not, not everything. No not rackets, everything. just the oh. good everything. Like, ah, right. Legitimate everything business. Hmm? Yes, the people who. Oh, oh, okay. No, that's fair. Yeah, that's they're, the thing that they're, happens. They're, they're they, philanthropists. They, it is a stellar front for a lot of things. What? Uh, so, I am thinking philanthropy, not philanthropy. My my mistake. Mm. When um, there's a mention of crazy ex-wives, um, Agrisol kind of does the whistling to pretend I'm not paying attention really <laughs> unconvincingly thing. Yeah. yeah, so sometimes when you hire what you think is a nice guy to work at a children's home... He turns out to be an ex-cultist, and you think you're fine with that, and you're like, hey, it's going to be great. He's not in the cult anymore. It turns out uh, some people just don't let things go. Yeah. Usually, people who are in things that can be classified as cults don't really like it when their members leave. Yeah, it's crazy, so, right? We will have to break up this little <laughs> cult then pretty soon, yeah? I'm down. Maybe. We'll see how this whole thing goes. Does a story of dragon chair with gem in or whatever Hope was talking dragon, about. Dragon orb throne. This yeah, one. Dragon, dragon chair with dragon stone throne. is much better. Give me an arcana. Uh, give me a dragon orb throne. Give me an arcana chair. 
<laughs> Make, Make me a dragon wolf throat. throat. <laughs> We know you want one. Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh, I rolled a four, so just everything. (laughs) I got a fifteen. Do I get advantage for dragons being a favorite enemy? Yes, you can get your favorite enemy. Cool. It's a flat roll (laughs) with a plus zero modifier. I might actually make this. Wait. Hey. 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 Um. So. The rest of you, you've never heard it. Agdrasol. There's no dragon orb thrown, at least not as far as you're aware of. Um, you are, however, aware with things called dragon orbs. Um, these are quite a long time ago, historically. Um, though in Grand Terra, that's hard to quantify. Um <laughs> there were uh, sort of a cabal of wizards seeking to harness the power of ancient dragons. And to do this, they ripped their souls out of their bodies and shoved them into shiny jade orbs. That sounds like a bad idea. It was. Sounds like the Rip best idea. The dragon's the dragon souls? souls. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a slightly um, better a drag- idea. The dragon <laughs> orbs, uh, uh, and, and thus were made dragon orbs. A dragon orb is an artifact of immense power because it is basically powered by the soul of an ancient dragon. The problem is in using it because in using it, you are opening yourself up to the imprisoned and quite pissed off soul of an ancient dragon, which can have side effects. So, you know that pseudo-god revenant thing that we fought when you guys first met me? No. Yes. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'll mm-hmm. I'll get around to trying to find an explanation that's not a. I'm really fucking tired. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Work. Yeah. Remember how Selena trapped his soul inside of a gem? No, but that yep. sounds awesome. Yeah. So was there were some wizards that tried to do a more battery themed approach to that with some ancient dragons and discovered that dragons don't really like having their souls imprisoned and kind of like fucking with the people who try that shit from their cranky little prison cells. So, wait a minute. You're saying that Kalen currently has some fucking ancient pissed off dragon? If it is actually a dragon orb and it's the same kind of dragon orb I've heard about, one of those fucking monster things is presumably the pissed off sort of long removed from its form remnants of its soul would be embedded in the gem potentially exerting some sort of psychic domain or torment over Kalen. Staphylus that... pulls out this is the, the magic There's violin. There's a lot of as... ifs, buts, and maybes in that sentence. Staphylus pulls out the magic violin and tries to very subtly just check and make sure there's no soul gems. Give me an arcana it. check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, if someone yes. wants to identify it, they can do that too. <laughs> I have the identify spell. Does um, Agnesol's explanation track with what I got told by that angel? Um, like an entity of darkness, would that be on the same level, or is, do I think it might be? It might be. Weaker? That might very well be it. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot of specifics. Okay. Yeah. I and keep really in mind, like, dragons grow, their power kind of comes from their age. Right. So even absent form a dragon soul might mutate or change as it grows older in its prison um staphylus there is no soul gem ritually identify the uh boldrin you ritually identify this is a violin of planner travel Uh, it has it has uh three uses a day uh, by playing a specific tune that you know innately by using the uh, violin, you can open a portal to another plane. Basically, you can cast plane shift. <laughs> you, can, you can cast gate with the uh, with with the violin three times a day. Is this information communicated? Um, Boldrin just kind of inspects the violin for a minute. This thing's been used twice yep. today. 
I should. Hmm. What's the violin thing? Uh, it's um. It is mine. Something. <laughs> sure, Stathalus, you can have it, but um, it's a uh, yeah, as, it's a tool that opens gates. As to a other note, planes. it cannot be used to summon create like the basically the latter half of the gate spell. It doesn't it's use it's only a it's door. Gate. It only yeah. opens a door. Right. I don't care if it's just a door. <laughs> Agdisalvel. Sophos, how much do you want for it? Yeah, can you even play a violin? Yes, can I can. Learn. <laughs> Let the it... me show you! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I don't mean like that, do you have the skill? I mean, like, can you physically play a violin? Because you are a cowman. He holds up his hand, which does have fingers. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean like, uh, she sits down, takes out the notebook, don't and writes worry. down. Don't worry, I I've been man. on this plane for years, and I'm still getting used to how none of you have wings. We'll sort of poke at nearest person, so probably Baldrin's back, back in the shoulder blade. Like Where it's just a like you got metal sawed I'm off or something. It's freaky. <laughs> yeah, I mean like. Some people have wings, but not forever. Yeah. Right? I mean, I suppose. That's no, weird. don't suppose. Some people have wings, they just don't have them all the time. Hmm. I mean, that's that's a very admirable way to compensate, and it's very cool that you have them sometimes. Where we oh were we talking about me? I was just talking in general. Oh, Stephalus has wings sometimes too on his He's feet. A cow with wings on his feet. Wait, Sits it's down, right down. You have a red robe. Holy cow. shit! Si and I am sidetracking this back now. Stephalus, how much do you want for it? Stephalus holds out his hands, and the violin is no longer there. <laughs> Oh, he played I it really well. I am a a warrior of the plains. My duty is to protect the integrity of the plains and protect the plains from each other, and pre preserve the integrity of the fucking barriers between them, and make sure no demon armies or bay waterfalls or or celestial nonsense comes through in ways that it disrupts the sanctuary of the rather fat, fragile material plane. Not How much do you stuck want over here. for the violin? Bay waterfalls sound awesome. I do not know that I will ever be as good expert on various dimensional faculties and uh, parts of universe as you are, Agdusal. Uh, but I do know that if I am ever to learn, traveling to places is best play way to learn. I oh you might I don't think mind that. the idea of travel, but you misunderstand. This is not about the ability to travel. This is about creating even temporarily a whole between our world and the one you try this world, your world, and the one you travel to. Inviting invasion. It's not a tool used... Uh, the portals actually only go one way with this. That is exactly what we saw is not the case. It can't summon... Uh, I, need to I need to I need to correct you. The, the one, when, when he used it to open, he used his blade. When he brought the, when he brought the demon and angels through, he used his sword. Yes, yeah, he stabbed true. reality and ripped mm -hmm. open a hole. Yep, okay. that's when I yep. tried to stop the stabbing of reality. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so, backpedal because it wasn't clear that this wasn't the focus being used in that instance. No problem. How's this? I hang on to it so that when you travel... I can be sure you know where you're going. I 
I believe you have good intentions. I understand you have desire to protect, and that is that is very laudable. Uh, I will think on this, and I will not use without consulting you first. I can make this promise. Cat. Agdrasol will quietly to Boulder and just go through a quick summary of even slightly nerfed how devastating the impacts of any ninth level spell are. <laughs> oh, Boldrin's fully aware. Boldrin can cast several of those spells eventually. Yeah, well, most full casters can. Just encourage him. This so one, gonna... it's a, it's a, it's actually less of a watered down gate and more of a glorified plane shift. <sighs> Selena's like, I think that is literally the most compromise anybody in this group has ever done. I'm I impressed. try and compromise. I just would really <laughs> prefer if... Can you at least promise not to use it without telling me? That is exactly what I just said, but yes. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, that was, that was what he was trying to communicate. I yeah. apologize if it didn't come across clearly. <laughs> but yeah, no, he is, he is, he wants to hold on to it himself, but he is not going to use it without at least talking to Agdrasol first. Uh, you're not a current threat to the borders of reality, I guess. <laughs> but that tone means that could change at any time, so things I am, however, you, a buddy. habitual drunk. Oh. <laughs> so am I. I don't actually have room That's to fair. <laughs> That's fair. I'm just always... Also, I've seen Staphylus drink. I'm pretty sure he can't actually get drunk at this point. <laughs> he can get... He can, He's not feeling much pain most of the time, we'll just say. So, Agdrasol <laughs> says the sweetest things to people. So, <laughs> you've had a long rest. You've identified this... Uh, long? We were, we were oh, sorry, short rest. Sorry, short rest. Short. That's what I meant to say. You've had a short rest. I'm, and if it's a long rest that qualifies under that previous uh, statement of it shouldn't cause mass movement, <laughs> then sure. You've had a short rest. Okay. Um, you have identified the you have oh, identified shit. the violin of planet travel. Um, Staphylus has secreted it away. Um, and it's amazing something that allows you to fiddle with the bounds of reality. I like how none of you uh, gave it to the musician. <laughs> <laughs> the musician isn't going to be staying around. And I actually have proficiency in one type Is of instrument. Is it a viol? Mm. Nope. <laughs> um, so, are you continuing on? Hope you know that you know that the next door yeah. you go through yep. is to the south. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's that way. Hello, Do you door. Want to look it over. You know the path, but mm -hmm. if you hope you yep. probably need to check for traps. The yes. uh, the imprint that you got told you there was no traps between here and there. No traps. Okay. There's no traps. There's just a guard on the room right before the stairs. So I apologize. I have forgotten one thing that must be addressed. Hmm? What? Oh. Baldrin, Captain, uh, yes. you, sir, have freed the first angel of today, so you win a prize of three diamonds. I take the diamonds and look at them. Where the bloody gods did you find these? In a box. Mm. That's really I vague. I feel like it's best that we not ask those kinds of questions of him. <laughs> Corbin pulls questions out his are bag. Good. Let's ask questions. You know what? This could this could save people, so I'll take it. And I just kind of bag them. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, open the door to the south. It opens up into yep. a uh, large, not, sort of a medium-sized room, longer than it is wide. Okay. Um, you know, the next door you need to go through is in the is on the along the north wall, basically the next door on the right. Okay. All right. Cool. Quick question: so, As as we're walking, are we going back the way that I came no. in? Okay, good. Because if we are, I want to find that note I wrote and pick it up. 
uh, this this <laughs> if at if at any time we go back that way, just FYI, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. Um, hang on, let me let me get on to the correct layer so I can ping the correct place. Uh, this mm -hmm. door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that door. Okay. Cool. Um, let me know before right before we go into the room with the that, that has yes. a guard on it. So. Okay. Uh, this next door opens up into a hallway. Which goes down, turns to the mm -hmm. left, and you know there are two doors, both of which lead to the same room, okay. and it is the guarded room. Okay. All right. So before we go, start going down that hallway. There's two doors on the left. Um, that's where the that room is where the guards are. I suggest we storm uh, guard. in. Guard. It's guard. a dragon. Okay. Um. A dragon. A dragon. <laughs> oh, cool. You didn't mention okay. that at any <laughs> point before this. <laughs> let's. Yep. Let's do this. The dragon. Okay. Is everyone oh. with? Uh, are we missing anybody? Hmm? Oh, I. Would I? You know, Adolfo and. Yeah. Where's the new girl? Yaro, stay behind no, that, her, uh, or was that just tokens? Just not my to I haven't moved Adolfo's token. Adolfo's coming along. Yaro, are you following? Uh, uh yeah. I can't Would I know anything about like the does, if if the dragon is is? Yeah, hang on, real quick, real quick. Um, hang on, sleeping hang on. right now, or for it's like facing. I can't hear yeah. any of you, so I'm gonna cycle okay. Skype. Sorry if I'm sorry. interrupting someone. Um. Okay. Uh. Sorry. Uh. Would you? You'd have to get up to find out. You'd have to sort of listen at the door. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if it's asleep, because then we might be able to ambush, and that will that will definitely be better than storming or, or in on a dragon. <laughs> yep. Or sneak by. So I'm going to stealth up first. Nobody sneaks by that first bear at the beginning of Skyrim. <laughs> So it's true, um, but this yeah. is not. The uh, first oh, it bear. goes around. Okay. All right. So, I, do you want me yeah, to make a stealth, a stealth check, check in the hallway or not? Oh. Okay. Can you hear us now, Aaron? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, if people start moving up to move through, she, Selena's holding people back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's 16. why Corbin was standing in the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, you sneak up to this door, and you know it's unlocked. Yeah, I'm going to listen in hey, to see if check. it's... if it, Okay. Does it sound Ooh. like a black dragon? <laughs> you don't Nine. have to listen really hard to hear Nine. the rhythmic breathing of a massive beast on the other side. Okay. Um, and I can't tell. I can't tell if it's asleep or not or anything. Peek through the door. Yeah, let's do. Let's slowly open the door. Slightly open the door. Dragon yep. fire pours out. So on, uh, on the other side of the door, knows? you see. You slowly open the door and see a ma a massive. Oh, uh, it looks almost like like a dragon formed from molten rock. Um, Ooh. Gotta find out what's laying what down. Does. Okay. Just in a corner. Its eyes are closed and it's breathing regularly. Looking around, this is a very small room. You're not mm -hmm. sure how the dragon got in here in the first place. Yep. I'm taking a look at it to see if it's if it has noticed if it if it's oh if it's aware of it anything. Like, is it? It doesn't it conscious seem or not? to be no, uh, to have noticed you. Okay, slowly, 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 gonna sneak back. Give me a self-check. Let's see if the okay. hallway fills with flame. <laughs> oh, God. Magma. Magma. Lava. Oh, yeah. 22. <laughs> Sweet. All like right. Like a ghost. <laughs> yep, so I, I come back. It's, it's, it's lava dragon. Um, lava dragon. I'm sorry. Uh, did you say lava dragon? <laughs> like flame. It's all covered color. with flame. Dragons uh, are determined by color most of the time. Its color was lava. <laughs> lava. Lava. It, lava dragon. Okay, as a... <laughs> Can I get a nature Dragons roll? are my... Give me a nature roll. What? 
favorite enemy. Okay. Hmm. I would. Yeah. Sorry. Do I get the flat roll for it being yes. favorite yes. enemy? Okay. Euro takes out her book, writes down, heard the phrase, "It's a lava dragon." <laughs> Maybe 11. something from the elemental plane of fire. Um, uh, if it's from the elemental, no, actually, I've never been there. Um, I have as far read as, many books. I mean, the elemental planes tend to have elemental Baldrin dragons. Baldrin and Staphylus go. Uh, there is a there is a particular type of dragon that is known as a flame dragon that would meet this this criteria of looking like lava. They don't fall into the realm of chromatic or metallic they are something else they're still technically they're, they're still technically dragons. dragons but they're closer to elementals than 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 most dragons are um and this would definitely be a denizen of the plane of fire you guys communicate that yeah yep it's in a tiny room as someone whose favorite enemies are dragons and elementals agrisol will go don't hit it with its element, um, so that would be fire. And if it's lava, I would try and avoid risking earth. Uh, it'll probably burn you if you touch it. Yeah. Is possible we could pot maybe just sneak past? Yeah, it's in a tiny room though, and clank. It's not I can, very stealthy. I can help with that a bit. Um, I can help with that a lot. Okay. Uh, I'll I can help with that pass minimal. without a trace the group. Um, uh, before you do that. Oh, sorry. Because it, it legitimately may not be necessary. Um, hold on just a second. I could have sworn that to let you do it to multiple people. Never uh, mind. Gaseous form? It. Yeah. Yeah, no. You need wind wind walk walk walk. Walk. No, right. single yeah. person. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. gaseous form is instant. Wind walk yeah, is yeah. like casting takes, time. Takes a bit. Up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Pass without a trace. Good try. All right. So if you all have a plus ten to your stealth roll if you want to try to sneak past. Yeah. And Adolfo, do you have any less assistance that might help our clanky friend? Something making people quiet? Uh, Did you take Enhance Ability? It's a fucking awesome spell. He, he looks <laughs> over at... Oh, do you, oh, secondary, do you have any more inspiration? He, he, that, that he has plenty. Um, he looks over at um, Baldrin and Corbin. Hey, look, my friends, hey, I understand that you are both stalwart defenders of the land, of the people, of the gods, of the of the holy uh, whatever. Um, in this particular... <laughs> in, in, it's, not, it's not patronizing, it's, it's truth. Um, in, in this particular instance, perhaps you might step uh, softly and carry a big stick rather than talk softly. And you both get uh, bargain inspiration. Uh, get on with it, Bloodseeker. Let's go. <laughs> I, um, and I put my spear away and the shield away, and I have my right. great axe. Just Dude, so I will stick to the back of the group because I have disadvantage yeah. <laughs> on this roll. Um, I'll lead the way again right. if people want to. I will be in the direct middle. Sure, some stealth checks. Yeah, I'll be. Right behind Adolfo you will be following Perhaps. up behind with that yeah. yourself. Stealth. You're All right. just kind of. Selena is keeping her. Selena's keeping herself <laughs> as close to the front as uh, she is. Is Yaro coming or? Oh yeah, she's coming. She just doesn't care what order yeah, she's yeah. in. Thirty-seven. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I am a sneaky son of a bitch. Uh, uh, is my inspiration Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. What's my uh, inspiration? D eight. D eight. D eight. Come on. 20 total. I want to beat <laughs> Staphylus, so I'm going to roll a D8. Pretty too. good. Uh, th that's not great. You've also got 20 total. So, yeah. enough of you rolled high enough that even with the slight clanking of armor from Baldrin, um, you managed to slip into the room. And yeah, you see this mat. It takes up a good quarter of the room, uh, Dragon, sort of just sleeping. 
and very <laughs> carefully edge past it. Yep. Um, which uh, door? It, there's that the other door goes back into the hallway. You know this this door over here leads okay. to the stairs. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna move, folks. Hang on. As soon as roll twenty okay. stops, I will misbehaving. Yep. I will let you move us. Then I will mm -hmm. get down into where everybody else is. Well, well, sorry, Adolfo was not that close to the dragon. Uh, da, 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 da. Please don't <laughs> touch it. No. Do it. At least there's no treasure hoard with fancy spears sticking out. Uh, quick look. Is there any no. treasure with this dragon? There is no there treasure with this dragon. This dragon seems to be existing as sort of a guard dog at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, large as we as still some cast, I, I'm not going to do anything, but can I briefly get some sense of what might be holding this dragon here? Sure, give me a... Uh, give me a insight check. Exhaustion sucks. Yes, it does. No, oh, seventeen. Um, it it, it it's <clears throat> it certainly hasn't made its lair here. Mm, you can tell that much by looking at it. Um, and it's big enough that it could make a lair. Like it is, it's it, it is it's not a well, it's not a wormling. It's not an ancient dragon, but it is certainly closer to adult than child. Um, so the only thing that you could imagine holding it here, if there's a dragon orb in this place, that's certainly something that could hold it here. Uh, dra theoretically, yeah. dragon orbs would give its wield, if its wielder had mastered its power, and rather than being dominated by it, it does give them some ability to control dragons in the vicinity. And probably if it is dominated by it, the dragon within has some ability to control yeah. dragons, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Continuing go. up the stairs. I see a room off to the side. You see it there is a hallway up to the side. You haven't been given any information about that. The stairs though apparently lead up to the throne room. Alright. We'll keep going that way. Alright. Yep. Well, let me grab all your tokens. Still stealthy, so, by the way. You head up the stairs, and this is a fairly long staircase that has a couple of twists and turns. But eventually, it leads you out to a open square room that has a uh, a large blue teleportation circle on the floor. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Have You're I been here before? It is a different okay. it is a different series of teleportation circle markers. All right, just checking. Um, and do I know what this is? Yeah. Is this something we need to to go on to? There's get into nothing the room, else in the or room. Or is this something we should avoid? The stairs end okay. at a room, just... and the, your memory only ends at the stairs. Your memory ends at the stairs. The stairs end at a room that has a teleportation circle in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Let's think go. this will ah, hopefully take us there. Can I examine it, see if it seems extra planar sure. or... Our contract. Mm. Uh. Uh, not, it, it, Who the uh, fuck knows? Generally, they aren't, but... <laughs> Maybe this one's weird. You're not certain. Let's oh. let's do it. And she's starting to if she yeah, can you, get it's to a wide it, open room. You can just step on it. She walks so right yeah, up you, to it. Do, 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 the light beneath you begins to glow, and you <laughs> disappear. Okay, I'm going after. Yeah, I'm going. Like, everybody all know what was. Selena, do that. Yep. 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 Well, 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 uh yeah guys not to not to put a damper on the fun times but uh last time i did one of these i fell through the ceiling it also pats you on the shoulder don't nope. worry i'm certain oh. it'll be fine 
It will I've not to, be fun. Spoiler alert. And one. I don't know you. I am Adolfo so... Belmonte. I am a very trustworthy figure. That's... That is a goddamn yeah. lie. You, you very well make an insight check who... if you want. Generally, people who are trustworthy figures don't need to tell you that they are. Generally not, but in such trying circumstances, it is often good to offer a reminder. I've already fallen, Selena. <laughs> I'm gonna Me just too. go <laughs> rather than deal with, with your trustworthy. Explicitly unhelping. You, you yeah, I'm can. just gonna go rather than try to figure all right, this so out. Alright, so you all step on... <laughs> you find yourself standing in a large open room uh, that seems almost like a mixture of a cathedral and a throne room. Uh, there are sort of pews lining a carpeted uh, walkway that lead up to a set of stairs that lead up to a throne, above and behind which floats a large green orb that is carved from jade and decorated to look like dragons swirling around. And sitting on this throne is, an, is a probably middle-aged human uh, with uh, brown with brown and gray hair, brown hair with gray streaks through it, a fairly well kept brown and gray goatee, wearing uh, wearing uh, very well you know kept robes um, that seem to that that is sort of a, a, a white and red and gold motif, um, with uh, what appears to be a phoenix bird sitting on a perch immediately to his right. As he looks up and locks eyes with Selena, uh, Selena, you you recognize Kalen? As yes. Kalen, <laughs> I'm back, motherfucker. And he just sort of looks at the group of you. <laughs> Have you come to kill me, girl? And that's where we're going to end it for the week. So, <laughs> say goodbye, everybody. I, I mean, like, no. I mean, I bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>